Yo, you tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. Broadcasting live from downtown Las Vegas, you're tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. Welcome to Let the Ball Bounce. This your host, Dre Bailey. And it's your man, Goose Thomas. What it do, folks? Yeah, man. Mr. Bill Blockham Logan with the big three uh, t-shirt uh, on. Yes, man. sir. Send that Ice Cube, man. Uh, Listen, go out and check out the big three, man. Ice Cube's doing big things, man. He's having bigger attendance than WNBA. Mm. Man, we was at that WNBA. And they ain't game scared to night. fight in that league either. They show oh, no. Not as oh, no, it goes down. He puts it up. Oh, yeah. it goes down. They, got, they, you they know. puts up their dudes. Yeah. Believe it now. Yeah, yeah. They, they're playing with a lot of millionaires with uh, that are thug, thug daddies. <laughs> a lot of thug daddy millionaires. <laughs> thug <laughs> thug daddies. daddies. Let the ball bounce sports talk radio, man. Every Saturday, 2 p.m. Pacific Coast time, man. We appreciate everybody chiming in to the best sports talk radio show in the land, man. Yours truly, Dre Bailey. And the man, Goose Thomas. Bill Block and Logan, man. Big ups to Sweaty Sherm probably at the crib oh, mm. or, or spending time Sweaty. with the family, man. <laughs> sure. That's my guy, man. He's a Bucks fan, man. And uh, we love you over there, man. And um, hey, we got a lot of boy, oh boy. NBA noise and sports noise to talk to you guys about, man. Uh, number one, man, we hope everybody is... Uh, nice and cool out there here in las vegas nevada it's 107 degrees it's on this saturday and it's um, not even really hot yet it's not it's not even hot yet. it's not man no. uh summer league is here man yes, is. stay indoors if you can where it's cool uh uh there's a lot of people that are broken down on the highways right man. now with with flat tires not a good look. uh and in this heat is enough to make you real mad there are some cracked roads as well it boy. is it is uh you know if you been sleeping under a rock and actually no you shouldn't be sleeping under a rock during that time yeah, well you think. should be sleeping under a door oh uh, yeah uh, what, they, what they what they tell you to do get under the door the threshold get under the threshold <laughs> yeah i don't think a rock is a safe Look, place. man we've had some <laughs> scary moments here hope everybody enjoyed their fourth of july man yeah. um uh big ups to everybody who came out to support the uh, mardonna leonard foundation uh, over stuff. at the fire uh, uh work stand over off of uh craig and uh simmons we appreciate you man but we had a 6.6 on the richter scale uh, as far as a uh, earthquake a couple of days ago mm -hmm. uh i want to say it was the day before fourth of july or yeah. actually on fourth of july, july yeah. um and it was big uh, I thought maybe I ate a whole bag of edibles, but then I was like, you know what? I didn't even eat edibles today. No edibles today. So what is going on yeah. and why is my world shaking? But yeah. Las Vegas, yeah. uh, the reason that there was a, a influx of flooding on the Facebook page about the actual earthquake is because las vegas don't experience those often now no. if you live in Con uh, california yeah. that's fine you guys experience those all the time you're used to them yeah we're not no we're not built for that and i'll get into what i mean when i say we're not built Man, for it, was that. About, it was about like 40 posts yeah. did y'all feel that <laughs> oh we felt it but see, I thought it was me tripping at first, and I think everybody had that initial Man. "am I the one tripping" type right. of deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, it was a pretty long one, um, and just yesterday, uh, while uh, NBA Summer League was here, uh, the Aces were playing. Yes. I was over at uh, the NBA Summer League. Goose was over at the Aces game over at the Mandalay Bay. Yep. Uh, and um, we had a seven point 
one. Yeah, seven point one on the Richter scale. Yeah. Now I'm sitting in the gym and I and we'll we'll get what what you were doing and and mm-hmm. how you felt when it happened. But I'm sitting in the Cox Pavilion, and I'm sitting there watching the Spurs against the uh, Orlando Magic. I'm getting a chance to see Mobamba because he was hurt a lot last year. Yeah, and I'm getting a chance to see. Uh, Lonnie, Lonnie Walker, man. Walker, a beast, the man. fourth, it's a beast, man. Who was hurt last year? Only yep. played seventeen games. Yep. And I'll tell you who I was sitting next to because this boy, you guys gonna get a kick out of this. Yep. I promise you, I'm gonna save it until after this caller. Yes, but indeed, man. I felt it, and I'm like, okay, we having another earthquake. Mm. But then I look up in the rafters and I see the lights swaying. Woo, wow, woo, and I'm like. Time this go. ain't good. Yeah. So then I see all of the Asians leaving. Like, they're just leaving. <laughs> yeah. ah, and I'm like, why y'all leaving? Y'all didn't leave when Godzilla tore your shit whoa, up. Whoa. Come whoa, on, dog. Whoa, brother. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. But look, though. Everybody's leaving the gym, and I'm like, it's just an earthquake. But what, <laughs> That's all. Ha- but what happened was over at, in Thomas and Mac, which was less than 25 feet away. Yeah, not far at all. The floor cracked. Yikes. So they had to stop the game. Stop the game. Yeah. And that's essentially what uh what took place over it. And we'll I'll get into it right after we uh right after we get to this caller, man. Caller, caller, you're on live. We'll let the ball bounce with Dre Bailey, Goose Thomas, and Bill Blockham Logan, man. State your name and your question, please. Serial killer. It's oh, God. the serial killer. Let me tell you something. If it don't if <laughs> Well, it has to do. It it has to be. I, I don't I don't see anything else happening here. Go, go ahead. Go, <laughs> go ahead, ahead, serial Chris. killer. <laughs> are you done? Go ahead. Whoa. 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 Whoa, you're done. Whoa. Whoa. Are you finished or are you done? Say it one more time. I yeah. promise you it'll be hard for you to get that You'll be done. I promise you. Get them off. And I don't and I don't yeah. make a lot of promises, look, but I promise. Look, that. he said all three of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's good with your serial killer, man? What you got oh, for man. us today, man? What's good? Yeah, no, man, just want to talk about that earthquake. I mean, before I get yeah. my other thoughts. Yeah. Dude, I was at Jerry's Nugget. I was working. Yeah. yeah. And the floor started to shake. The chandelier started to shake. Hey, boy, but I'm surprised ain't no nothing falling in there. Right. That's an old building. No That's an old building, stop dog. gambling. People stop gambling. No one stopped gambling. Nobody. Of oh, course man. not. They Nobody. try to win that money. Hey, yeah. fingers, fingers about blue as a mug. <laughs> yeah. It's all crackheads there anyways. They, they didn't know. <laughs> And, and, and serial killer, let me add this to what you said. You said no one stopped gambling in the casino no over at, at Jerry I, I, Nuggets. I can see the whole pit. I can see the whole pit. No one moved. No one flinched. They were still playing the machine, shooting the dice. I was just like, wow, <laughs> wow, wow. So yeah. Let, let me tell you how it's. This is. I'm going to bring this all together. You said no one stopped. Which means they no were one. really concentrating on getting their bag. They were getting trying to get the, the bag, bag, right? That's that's what it was. While so, I was at Cox, while the earthquake was going on, no one stopped playing either. They were concentrating on getting, getting the bag. and trying to get the bag. <laughs> so it makes sense. I get it. I yeah. wouldn't have stopped yeah. gambling either. Yeah. No. Yeah. The bag is just, uh, the bag has essential has essential uh, qualities. Yes, it does. Yes, got to get it. Got your essentials yeah. in the bag. What you got yeah. for Let us? Let me see? just uh, ask you a question. Let me, yeah. I mean, uh, we can talk about Kawhi and all that, but let's just talk about the top six teams in the West. I made a post about it in the group. Mm. Who is not making the second round Boy. out of the Jazz, Blazers, Nuggets, Rockets, Flippers, and Lakers? Wow. Two of those teams are not going to the second round. That is a fact. Yikes. Two of those teams are not. Who do you, who do you have nine in the second round? Wow. I'm going to ask you guys your opinion. Wow. Okay. Shoot from the gut. Who is not in the, who's not in the, I can't, because then I work, so I can't, uh, don't hang up on me until you ask the question. <laughs> so I can hear it. I'm on break. I'm on break. Got it's you, bro. Break. Got you. What, what you think, Dre? Because I, I got, I got one in mind, and it's going to surprise you when I say it. Okay, so what are the six teams? Yeah. We're looking at Utah, mm-hmm. Lakers. Portland. Mm-hmm. Portland. Portland. Houston. Clippers. Houston. Uh, and what was the, what was the last one? Lakers, Clippers, Portland, Jazz, Nuggets. Nuggets. That was the one. Nuggets. And Houston. I'm going go, to I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I got to pick two of them. It's two of them that won't yeah, make it. Yeah, because two are not making it. Two I, of the six are not making it to the final. To I, the am going to, I am going to go out on the limb right now on the show. Okay. 
and say that Portland Ooh. and Utah mm. won't make it. Ooh. Won't make it. Won't make it. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Interesting. That's first round and out. Interesting. First round and out. First round and out. First first round round and out. out. Well, I got one of your teams you in got? there. Ooh. I got one of your Utah. teams in there, Dre. Utah. Mm-hmm. Utah is one of the teams that I don't think is, is going to make it. My other one, the Houston Rockets. Bro. Ooh. Don't like them going forward, bro. Ooh. I don't. Tragic. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I, 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 and this is why. I got a reason. I'm yeah. not just throwing yeah. it out there. I got a reason. The Houston Rockets will only go so, as far as Chris Paul's hamstrings will take them. Okay, Let, expound on <laughs> expound on that once we get serial killer off the line. Go ahead, uh, Bill. <laughs> that, that, that's the only thing I can say. <laughs> what you think, Bill? I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say that the Portland Trail Blazers mm-hmm. and Houston. Ooh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And and I really and, like the Utah Jazz, yeah, bro. I too. swear I do, bro. Yeah, me too. I really I like that ball they, club, man. I just man. don't think they're experienced enough. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I hope. I hope we answered yeah. your question, Chris. I, I hope we, we did. did. Who, who do you think? Who do you, who do you, who do you have? Think? Who do you have? Rockets. Rockets are not making the top mm. the first round. I mm. just. Jim, Jimmy Harden has to do too much. Mm. Eighty-two games. It's tough. Everyone got better in in the West. I mean. He has to do more. He has to do more because Chris Paul is getting worse. I mean, he has to average 40 for the season. He's going to have to average 40. Boy, yeah. y'all talking bad about Chris Paul, it's man. It's tough, bro. It, yeah. it, look, and, and again, we appreciate you, Chris, man. Big time, yeah. bro. Appreciate it's, the phone it's, call, bro. It, it's no slight, yeah. though. Like, you, it, it's no slight on them. Yeah. But you have an aging, well, I'll call him a superstar, in Chris Paul. Mm. Who has bad legs? <laughs> his, Both of them his, are bad. Something you need. Something you have to have. You have to have healthy. You have to have healthy. Basketball. They have to be healthy, and they have to be healthy to be able to play. Like at are, least sixty-nine games. Are we? Are we? Are, are is he getting new hamstrings or, or is he getting implants? Look, <laughs> what's going on, look, bro? What Goose and and Bill Logan <laughs> essentially are saying. Is that you have to have healthy legs in order to play basketball. Yeah, simple. Uh, but you can ask Forrest Gump's big homie that you don't have to have legs to be rich, though. Yeah. So with, oh, that, no. <laughs> yeah. with that, with that being said, man, you're oh call a call a caller. What's your name? What's your question? You're on with right Dre now. Bailey, Goose <laughs> Thomas, and Bill Blockham Logan. Let the ball bounce. Sports <sighs> Talk Radio. Let's go. Oh man. It's a beautiful morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful it, it's, morning. It's, it's the afternoon, bro. You need some auto tune on yeah. that. It's, it's the afternoon, bro. Where's the auto tune at? That was yeah, horrible. It's the that's... afternoon, bro. Okay. What's yeah. up, my brother? What's that? up? What's up? What's up? It, it, the, 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 the lone, well, is he the lone Clipper fan? No. It's a Said couple. is. It's said, a a, said a Clipper fan, it's too. It's a couple. Um uh, and shout out to La- Latoya Nicole who's the real Clipper fan. Yes, yeah. Um, uh, man. I, we'll 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 let you go, Jason. I what's mean, your, it's, your, it's, it's your call, brother. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead, bro. Break, us, break, hey, it, break, no, it, just, break it down so we can combat it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. No, I'm just wondering how I'm gonna set up my vacation for uh, mm. the end of June when mm-hmm. we'll be uh, oh, having a parade in front of Staples Center. Wow, wow. So that's one. Dig that. <laughs> I have to figure out I'm gonna set up my vacation time. Dig that. And then. I'm wondering if we're going to win three out of the next four championships or four out of the next four championships. Wow. Can it? Okay. Can't figure out this. Yikes. I'm working through a lot of things. Wow. Consider well, we have Lou Williams and mm-hmm. Mo Harkless coming off of our band. Mo Harkless. Got, what has he done? Oh, 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 oh. Since he's been slow in the clap. League. Hold on, slow clap. What Stop has Mo it. Harkless done <laughs> since he's been in the league? Answer that question. You Mo don't Harkless. cut it out. Mo Harkless is a six foot eight, silky smooth, small forward, silky. With unlimited silky smooth. Silky smooth, silk small forward, silky smooth. How silky <laughs> was he in Portland? Can you tell me how silky? Can you tell me how silky Mo Harkless was yes. in Portland? I, I just want to hear know, it from you right now. You know, I'm not no, no, no. Answer that question. I need to hear that. Right I need to hear that. I need to hear how silky he was in a Portland right uniform. There. I'm waiting. We want a Lou Williams. He's not going to answer Lou the question. Lou Williams. Yeah. Best six man 
in the NBA. Okay, we no can question. Do that. That's, yeah. that's non debatable. That's proven. Yeah. We're here. We're, okay. we're here for that. He has we're, an award we're, to we're prove that. We're here to Montrez Hill. Great. Who Great. will win the most improved player in the I'm NBA? I'm not going to even debate he that. Will win. I like okay. him in college. Go okay. ahead. Yeah. He will win the most improved player in the NBA. Come up here. Slept we got Paul. College. Super slept. Go ahead. Houston should Paul, never get Paul him. George. Paul George. Yes. Okay. Top top two two way player in the NBA. Okay. No question. Top two two way player. Absolutely. Kawhi. Mm-hmm. The best two way player in the NBA. Sure. Okay. And Pat Bev, mm-hmm. the best defensive point guard in the NBA. Okay. Okay. And you just signed so, Zubak again, So right? I got a question. So I got a question. Oh, and I, I, I saw oh, Zubak oh, average oh, oh, 10 oh, and 8 last year. Oh, 10 and 8. Nice. Okay. So let me let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. Who's, who's, shoot, who's shooting the basketball for you guys? Who's shooting? Kawhi and Paul George. Really? They them, shoot. Them, 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 your, them your only two guys? that I'm talking about from deep. I'm talking about from three. Who Who are your shooters? Yeah. Because well, Paul George is coming off have... statistically the worst three point uh, uh, percentage uh, leaving OKC. But go ahead, go ahead though. Who's going to be shooting? Who, who's going to be well, shooting? We got, I mean, we got we got Lou Williams, who will probably the be the three, the three, the three, the three ball. Uh, Lou I mean, Williams is more of a mid range yeah. guy. Let's be honest here. Yeah, but also he can, he but can step out, he's but he's, 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 he's just a bucket yeah, getter, yeah. bro. Yeah, when when the playoffs come, you need guys who are going to make shots because who thought mm-hmm. Fred Van Bleet would be like the best three point shooter? I, thought, you know I always I mean? thought he was good, but, bro. Well, like, he was good, but he wasn't uh, someone I, who you'd be like, okay, this guy's going to go five for seven. Put, from put the it put it this way, I was I mean, surprised. You know I, mean? I was surprised when he didn't get drafted. So the silky smoothness of <laughs> Mo Harkless <laughs> is who he's going, is going to put him over <laughs> the top. Is he put you over <laughs> the silky okay. smoothness. Also, but no, also so I'm going to tell you, an underrated shooter is also Landry Shamay. Landry Shamay okay. can play. All right, play. He can Landry Shamay is going to be our Fred Van Bleet. He can play. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we. I mean, the way I look at it is, is I'm not going to be one of those people like when we're doing our championship parade who's like, oh, oh, you guys are all bandwagon fans. Mm-hmm. I want everyone to come on to our okay. championship team. You okay. know what I mean? Like, okay. So, so how how long are you <sighs> giving yourself to win? Because I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't going to happen. I'm telling you right now here oh, on no, today's no, show this. that it's not going to happen. Yeah. So how long are you well, giving? Also, you, you, you have you, to remember, Hunter, you, you have to remember when I came on a couple months ago, I did mm-hmm. say we were going to get two huge free agents, and I did say Kawhi oh. was going to come to the uh, L.A. Clippers. And, and, and look Mr. Kwan, can you play that back? Can you play <laughs> that back, Mr. Kwan? <laughs> I'm going to play back the last time the Clippers got to the Western Conference Finals. <laughs> Let, let's all be you got to take one be step solid. at a time, bro. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. also tell me we had the worst owner in NBA history. We had Donald Sterling. Yeah, he, no, he's not know, the he, worst he owner really, in he NBA. Really he, he's the most racist. He's not the worst. Yeah, and we don't even know if he's the no, most no, no. racist. He would not put. You know, he he's would the most not vocal put, racist. No, he, well, he told us. Money into he told the, us. He's vocal. Yeah, yeah, he wouldn't put any money into the product. Once we got Steve Ballmer, we've been on an upward swing. And if we and if Chris Paul wouldn't have consistently gotten injured, and if Blake Ginger, uh, if Blake wouldn't have got injured, and when Josh Smith hit like. 50 points in one quarter against us, we <laughs> probably would have made the Western Conference Finals day. It's a whole lot of ifs. So, I mean, yeah. we, yeah, and, and you're right, and you're right, and I'll accept that. So now we're just going to look forward. That's so right. I came Good. on a couple, yeah, I came on a couple months ago, and I said on this same show that we were going to get two of the three biggest NBA free agents. I thought we were going to get three, but we got two. Mm-hmm. I said that, and now mm-hmm. I'm saying in June of 2020, Guaranteed, we're going to win the NBA title in six games. Okay, okay we're going to put, 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 put money on it. Put money on it. What you, 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 you want to do? What you want? We do push ups. Push ups. No money. I thought I like it was going to be donate to LT. I work out every day. I don't need to need to do my own push ups. You can sponsor a show. I'm on money. How much is the sponsor show? I need money. We'll discuss that off air. Yeah, that part. How much you willing to put up is the question. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, it's 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 pretty much in the bank. It's like saying two oh. plus two is four. Wow, so, well, that's nice. You know, I mean, the bank. nice. Who's okay. gonna who's nice. even gonna come? Who's gonna come close to? Him? Okay, I mean, look at that. Look at the roster. What what Just about look it? At this roster. Montrez Harold is your tallest player. No, Zubac is. But we're playing. Oh yeah, that's right. Ball. They did. They, y'all y'all resign? They yeah, they, they resign him? Yeah, they did. When? How long ago? Yeah, How long ago was that? He he. he, he he played like right in uh, twenty six games, okay. and he okay. got ten and he got ten and eight. Ten and eight. You okay. know, that's not that's, nice. Yeah, that's not bad for that's not bad for what is he like nineteen twenty years that's, old? That's, that's like me, that's like that's like a Laker fan bragging about JaVale McGee. 
Well, no, 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 no. I'm just on, saying, fam. no, no. I'm just saying we're going to be doing a small ball lineup. We're, yes, that's you are. What we're going to do. We're, we're going to put Harold at the five, and yes, Harold is absolutely. a monster at okay. the five. So, he's so, a, he's so, a monster. so let me ask you this: Yeah, the Zubak signed a four-year, twenty-eight million dollar contract oh, okay. today. Good, good. So, right before you leave, Jason, give us a question so we can answer it and keep tuning into the show. Absolutely. You have a question for us? Um, the question will be, no, that wasn't my question. Are we going to win three out of the four oh. next championships, or are we going to win four out of the four next okay, championships? Okay, so we'll give you the, because uh, you gave us A and B question, we'll, we'll give you the C, C question. Neither. So, appreciate the phone call, Jason, <laughs> man. <laughs> ah, we appreciate you, bro. You, bro. Ah. Wow. So I we mean, see you in a yeah, minute, man. On everything. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're not. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, man. I, 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 while I like what the Clippers did, I'm still not putting any faith in them. They're still the Clippers. Right. At the end of the day. They're still the Clippers. And until they can disprove that they're still the Clippers. They're still you the know Clippers. Who you, compare, you know who we can compare the Clippers to? The Browns. The Browns. They, they are the Cleveland Clowns they of the West. Are, they, boom. That's perfect. The Cleveland per- Clowns of the that West. That is perfect, Bill. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. We. It looks like we got another caller, man. Call a caller. You're on live. We'll let the ball bounce. State your name and your question, please. What up, man? How you guys doing? It's David in the Bay, man. Hey, I thought hey, it. From what the up? Yay, what up, man? Yeah, man. Well, I thought all the, all the crazies are calling in. So I said, I got to call in too, man. <laughs> so I, the answer is, are the Lakers going to win the next eight out of nine? Or are they going to win nine out of nine? <laughs> right, right, right. That right, part, right. that part. That right. makes sense. Unbelievable stuff, man, these people, I tell you. It's crazy. Man, man but... um. <laughs> And then speaking of earthquakes and shakeups, we get the quad trade yeah. in the middle of the night. Yeah. I mean, it's just, the NBA is just great, man. I love literally what's going the, on. But literally in the middle of the night, though. Yeah, yeah. Like they did, they literally did like not, the. the honestly, yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. They did like the like the the Baltimore uh, Colts did. Just just picked up the team and moved mm-hmm. in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. what happened. Yeah. 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 It was uh, the NBA rapture. That's what that was. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. Man, while you're on the phone, man, I wanted to say thank you um, for uh, you and Shake for always being my uh, LA insiders yeah. with all of the intel that you guys uh, uh, helped me with, man. And uh, I appreciate that, man. Oh man, hey, uh, so I don't even know what intel we really had because. I don't think anyone knew that that Paul George trade was coming. No, he we didn't, didn't see like that. Yeah. see that. No, that's crazy. I think he was that was... like a nice joke network. ESPN reported that he was going to Toronto on a two-year deal. Mm-hmm. They reported he was going to the Lakers. No one ever said that Paul George was getting traded to the Clippers. Nobody ever that, said and that. And that's why all these networks and stuff, man, they're just jokes, dude. They're all clowns because nobody really knows. It's a lot of like, hey, I got sources. But your sources ain't really, you know, they don't really know what's going on. Right. So, like, I don't know. I mean, a lot of this stuff is just, just, um, I just wait till it just drops. And when it happens, it exactly. happens. But, I mean, I mean, there's so much we could talk about. And I could be on the phone forever with you guys. Right. But I'm just going to ask you guys one question. I'm going to just take you guys a call off there. Yeah. Is the trade, the, the actual trade of Paul George and OKC, Giving up on him on after one year, you would have thought like, okay, we went to the the playoffs. You knew you were going to go to the finals in one year, but you gave up so quick on that project. You traded for him out of Indiana. You got him to resign, and then you just gave up on him so quick. Mm-hmm. And I know Jerry West has has a way to to make things move, but I kind of wanted to get you guys to take on OKC and what, and what their whole thought process was. Wow. And how you see them even moving and forward. That, that's hey, that's that was, that that's was a my great question. That was that's my, that's that great was my question. question next. Appreciate that's you, Dave. That's a great question, Appreciate Dave. You. So Man, let's dissect look, it. To it. Who wants to, who wants look, to dissect look, right now? why they gave up on that? that, that. That's, that's the it. real yeah. reason. And, uh, and I'm looking at Paul George and his body language during, during the playoffs. It seemed frustrating. Mm-hmm. It seems as though he was frustrated mm-hmm. during, during it. Now, we're not in his head. We don't really know. But as an outsider looking in, we just watching. We're fans. Yeah. So we, we're taking in the game. It seemed as though he was frustrated mm. with Russell Westbrook. That's what it looked like to me from, from an outsider looking in. And now when we fast forward to, to this, <laughs> this, I guess, 
I don't know, heist, you could call it. Yeah. That, that they pulled a, 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 Baltimore, a Baltimore Colts in the middle yeah. of the night. Yeah, they did. I, this is what you get. Now, again, hindsight always twenty twenty. We can, we can, We can say everything we want here at the desk. But if we look back, just looking at them during the playoffs and looking at them, it, like Paul George, he, he plays hard. Russell Westbrook, we know he plays hard. Yeah. But you can kind of tell between the two, it was some tension, bro. But my thing is, mm. Just they a played, little, bro. My thing is they played a season together. Mm-hmm. Didn't he? If you, you know I mean, if you're going by what you're saying, right? That should have showed. That should have been displayed last. Come year. on now, it it should have. You're absolutely correct. It should have. Sometimes you know how um, you know how that that saying how that saying go when when you meet a when you meet a chick or or when a dude when a when yeah, a chick meet, right. a, meet a dude they you meeting the representative. Mm-hmm. You probably met the representative, dog. <laughs> I mean, and they had the big party. Oh they man, was at the that, club the smoking cigars. Yeah, oh man, I'm it was popping. I mean, Rocky with tails everywhere. Yeah. Boy, hey, it's chiefing. So I'm like, wow. When you heard that last night, I was like, whoa. whoa. Well, t- I mean, you know, t- t- to give my two cents, man. Um, Paul George was an asset to uh, the OKC uh, City Thunder mm-hmm. uh, after KD left. Sure. Um, he came over for that one year mm-hmm. and they saw the potential that it could be uh, with Paul George being there. Now, there were rumors uh, when he became a free agent that he wanted to come back home. Mm-hmm. This this wasn't this didn't just start a couple months ago. It wasn't a rumor. He said it. Mm-hmm. Right? His mm-hmm. own mouth. Right? Mm-hmm. That he wanted to come back mm-hmm. home. Coming back home to L.A. means two things. It's either the Clippers or or, no, or the Lakers. It's, there's not no. a, a Los Angeles, a Anaheim. There's not a, 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 <laughs> no. a, a, a Long Beach, uh, a Rutgers uh, team. <laughs> there, there are only, only two yeah. NBA teams there. That's right. Okay, but coming back home means coming back home. So what happened was, in my eyes, he signed with OKC for the time being, knowing mm. that he wasn't going to be wow. there forever. I think he already knew he wasn't going to be there forever. Because let's, 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 let's let me, look let me, at the let me, landscape. Let me get to you real quick. So what was the deal? What, what, what was his deal for? What was the terms? Was it a four-year deal? I think it was a four-year Five year deal? I think it was a four-year deal. So year if, 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 I'm, if I'm Paul George, and I'm asking you this, yeah. Dre. I'm Paul George, mm-hmm. and I'm signing a five-year deal. I'm at the table signing a five-year mm-hmm. deal. But in my head, knowing that I'm not gonna be there no more, and then this happens, does that make me a uh, does that make four me year. a snake or no? It was so a four year, one forty two. Right, four year, one forty two. So we could talk about the whole snake thing uh, uh, here in a minute. But mm-hmm. I believe that he knew that he was not gonna be in OKC mm-hmm. forever. We're dealing mm-hmm. with 2019 sure. uh, um, type dudes. Uh, type dudes. <laughs> Uh, agents yeah. that it's okay to sign a long-term deal doesn't mean you have to be there long-term, mm. right? We can get out of deals that we sign, mm. okay? The only person that I knew of that was hard to get out of a deal that he signed was Dr. Dre in Easy e in them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom line. <laughs> Jerry had, Heller. They had Jerry to, <laughs> Heller. <laughs> they, had to use, they had to use a little bit of muscle. They had to use a little bit yeah. of uh, 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 scare tactics in order to get out of some deals. Mm-hmm. It's easy to get out of deals mm-hmm. nowadays sure. in the NBA. All you have to do is say this. I want to be traded. Mm. I'm not happy. Mm. And guess what? From that point on, and me as an owner, I don't want to keep an employee that's not happy. Truth. I'm going to try to get something valuable for mm. you before I make that move. That is what David Griffin has done over in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. He didn't waste no time. As soon as he got there, he knew after talking to Anthony Davis that he still wanted to be traded yeah. to the Lakers. Mm-hmm. And Davis said, that's fine. Yeah. Let me get on the horn with the Lakers we got you. and let me tell them exactly what I want. We I want you. all of your draft yeah. picks yep. plus your young guys. Yep. And so they have the leverage. Sure. So, agents nowadays and employees have the leverage and i think that's great for mm-hmm. this league mm-hmm. because with the Kawhi going over to the, to the clippers this balances out the entire nba yes. you absolutely do not know who's gonna win i agree i'm tired of seeing 
four and five superstars on one team, and it's one clear cup favorite. You can't give tell me right now that there's one clear cup favorite. No, a lot no, of Clipper fans no. are super excited, no. but I would be too if I was whack and <laughs> and ass juice for the past hundred years. Oh, no. true. true. Think about it. Dripping, if, 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 <laughs> drippy, <laughs> drippy butt juice. No, but but, but my my thing is this though, and this is just real oh, talk. If God. I'm a guy that's dating nothing but super ducks. My entire life. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I got I'm, I'm going somewhere. I see where you're going. I see where you're going. And then all of a sudden, I get a little bit of change, and 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 hello. And now my super duck option turns to bad beer option. Boy, I see where you're going. I see where I'm you're going. The, I'm for the choose. I'm, I, boy, <laughs> I, I may be used to this. Yeah. yeah, but this gonna make me look a little better. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm, a, now I'm you know, I'm a, I'm a yeah. act accordingly. I'm going to eat a little so bit Clippers, now. So Clippers, it's old Clipper fans. It's yeah. okay to gloat. It's okay to say, oh, my God, we got a super team. Oh, my yeah. God, we dope. Yeah. But guess what? These things were said when you had Chris Paul. Boy. Blake Griffin. Boy. DeAndre Jordan. Boy. And all of them dudes. Look here. You're Look still here. the Clippers, man. <laughs> Just and, like that's, and that's what Steeler <laughs> fans say about the Browns. Thank you. Yeah. Still Browns. Still, still little brother. <laughs> still little brother. And I'm going to introduce that voice here in a minute, yeah. man, as soon as we get this call in, man. Caller, caller, you on live and let the ball bounce. We hot right now, man. State your name and, and your question, please. Hey, what's up, Cass? What up, what's up Carl? It's right? Compton Less in the Compton building. What's happening, man? I got to hear from Big hey, Bros, man. Hey, 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 what's up, Dre Dave? What's up, Quan? What up, what up, man? Hey, man. It's poppy. Hey. Uh, not much, man. Uh, I just had two quick comments and one question I think uh, you guys should be able to answer. First, um, congratulations to the Los Angeles Clippers on their acquisitions. Absolutely. Over the, you know, last night and over the week, you know, yeah. I think um, people kind of get this thing kind of confused. They kind of think it's what they see on TV is what's really actually happening, <laughs> but it's not. Right. You know, all these guys use – like Dre said, leverage to get what they want. Of course. Um, so, you know, we shouldn't be surprised by what, by what happened, but it's still kind of shocking. Nobody, I think the last caller or the caller before said nobody saw Paul George, Kawhi right. and Paul George getting you no know, pair together. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, nobody called that. But I will say this. This is my second comment. I had to give Goose his props. He told everybody, do not listen to Chris Boussard about anything, and we kind of laughed at him, but you was right, Goose. Hey, that guy ain't hit on nothing no. since my uh, dude, I think ain't hit on went to Miami. in like 10 years, bro. Y'all need I mean, to stop <laughs> listening to those dudes. Who really, who listen really to listens to that? Hey, look. I mean, all it is is rumor and I'm, talk. I'm going to tell you why. I'm on a, the I'm, show. I'm, I'm going to tell you why people listen to Chris <laughs> Broussard. That's all it is. Because you get so much whackness from Woj when somebody comes in that you – that you think might have a different opinion, people listen to him, bro. Right. Be be because Woj, right. because of course, looking at looking at looking at basketball, you got Woj and you got Stein, right? For the four letter network, those are your two guys. When it comes to NBA basketball and 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 word getting out and breaking news and all of that stuff, no, it ain't right. breaking. Oh, this is my sources. Yeah. Oh, the sources. Yeah, that too. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. But then you got the Chris Broussard, <laughs> right? Who kind of who kind of plays the background? Who really isn't as popular? So people like, okay, let's see what this dude got to say. And people, boom, gravitate right. to it. Look, when, and Stephen look what a, when Stephen A. Smith said his sources told him that KD was going to the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Oh, boy. And KD came on the next day with <laughs> yeah. tweets saying, man, I don't even talk don't to Stephen. I don't even talk to you, I don't dog. even talk to you, man. <laughs> but that's when I said, dude, these dudes yeah. don't know no more he than we do. Know he not, they don't know any more than we do. <laughs> like he did say that. You would think you would think they did though. Yeah, you would I think mean, they, they right did. there. Yeah. Well, let's let's let me tell Man. you something. Let the ball bounce. Uh, is is way better than ESPN. Man, the four letter Hello. network. Hello, somebody. Uh, oh yeah, we uh, are. Uh, our, our yeah, host, we already know. Our host here. Uh, can give you more breaking news than anybody <laughs> on the four letter network. I mean, people on the and, page. And we got yeah. receipts. Come on now. Yeah. Hello. 
Yeah. Hello. Dre, like like Dre Day Paul said, we George got George pulled an Odell uh, Beckham. Receipts longer than the, the ones they give you at CVS. We got receipts. <laughs> y'all do. Yeah. The y'all Walmart do, receipts, y'all do receipts, Y'all do give bro. us more accurate. <laughs> hey, more receipts. Longer, longer receipts to CVS, Walgreens, whoever you want to name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, y'all do give us y'all do give us accurate information. That's what I tell everybody about the show. I said, y'all want accurate, not not biased or homegrown huh? thoughts. I'm talking about just accurate bro. sports re- objectivity, accurate sports reporting. Tune into this show, man. I've been pumping it ever no since question. I've been in the group. No question. And, uh, like Dre, like Dre, they said, uh, nobody's an expert, but you can give accurate stuff if you're trying to be accurate. Now, if you're just throwing stuff out there just to get a like or yep. to get uh, some attention, yeah, you nah. in the, uh, you in it for the wrong reason. Truth. I'll, but, try uh, yeah. I'll try to try be the first one. I'll try to be the first, first one. one. Yeah, I'll try Absolutely. to be the first one yeah. to break the story. To break the yeah. story, yeah. Yes, but indeed. my question was, um, uh, I think you posted it, Goose, and Quan, uh, Brother William, Dre, either of y'all can answer it. Answer it. But uh, I thought you posted something about Toronto talking to OKC first about a deal. Mm. And I don't know if it, it didn't go through. The talk broke down. You know, could y'all <laughs> elaborate on what happened with it? I, Thanks, Les, man. Appreciate, appreciate you, the Les. phone call. Big Compton time, Les bro. in the building. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Les, hey, man. stay Big tuned, homie. man. We're about to answer this question, man, because it was a great mm-hmm. uh, question that came up on the page earlier today that Toronto approached OKC about the swap. PJ, I mean, uh, uh, Paul George and, and, and Russell Westbrook yeah, it was, yeah, going. Yeah. yeah. For to Pascal, Toronto Siakam. for Pascal Siak- Siakam and I want to say another player in 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 a, in a draft pick. Yep. I don't understand why Toronto would never pull that trigger <laughs> wow. because they would have been right back in the right. same spot that they were this year Man. in the Eastern Conference Finals. Man, look, let let me before before you say something, I, I got to introduce my guy right <laughs> here, man, all the way from from DC. He's 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 oh. one of, he's one of DC's finest right here. Yeah. A Howard alum. Go go music. A Howard alum, okay. you understand, man. Him and, yeah. him and my little cousin play play football together at Howard, man. He's uh, he's avid on the page, man, uh, and he's also uh, an assistant football coach. Where you coaching at now, Will? Where uh, you at now, bro? Bloomsburg, Bloomsburg University, bro. Uh, my guy, Will Blanton, right here in the building with us, man. Who uh, big big time football guy, but he can talk anything, man. The dude know his stuff, man. So. Everybody, man, it's it's Mr. Will Blanton in the building, man. What's yeah. good with you, bro? I know I you had something to say, man. Go ahead, go ahead. I appreciate you. Absolutely, you bro. You guys have to excuse me. I was yelling at the TV, <laughs> um, at the crap table, yelling at the dice. <laughs> Voice is kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you look look parts. I got halls everywhere. So. That's funny. Um, to go back to the Paul George, why they didn't take the deal? Mm-hmm. I was talking to one of my boys, and it made perfect sense. Mm-hmm. They tried to hit him like somebody on the street. Mm. They knew PG and Russ. OKC knew Russ and PG had something going on. Mm. So they tried to dump them off wow. on Toronto without Toronto knowing. Without them even knowing, bro. Mm. Trying to, eh, try to, to slide they piece. Try to, they try to dump their problems off on them mm. and, and get something in return. Yeah. And they're already trying to get off of the, sal- the luxury tax. Mm. They've already been trying to dump Steven Adams. They've been trying yeah, they've to been dump. trying to. Dump they've been Steve. trying to dump salary because mm-hmm. why am I the owner? Am I'm I'm paying luxury <laughs> tax in first. We out first round every year. Yeah. So what am I doing it for? So yeah, I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna get all. If I'm get if I'm gonna break it down, everybody's gone. Everybody out. Everybody yeah. gotta go. I'll be so, in here by myself. So makes you know sense. What? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get something out of these two boys. Absolutely. I'm gonna send them to, and they don't even know these two dummies are butt heads. <laughs> yeah. And y'all don't know that. And then it's going to be a problem. That's your problem. Ooh. And see, this is my thing, man. And it's been a Yikes. lot of, and we we got to dive into this, man. And it has to be right now. It's been a lot of speculation about other players not getting along with Russell Westbrook. And Russell Westbrook is the problem. And mm. Russell Westbrook is the snake. And Russell Westbrook is the is the issue. Come on, dog. Russell Westbrook? Really? You don't speak. Mm. He always on 100. Mm. He don't need no load management. Wow. No. He don't. No, he don't. I don't. You don't. I don't need load management. So why you not playing tonight? Ooh. Why you not playing hard? Mm. But you know what? If I'm playing with a dude like that, I want to play with a dude I want, like that. I, 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 I want to. He, if, he had, if he had that mentality, he would go home to the Lakers with LeBron. Ooh. 
Let's make it happen then. He don't have that mentality. You know, but let me tell you something. Russell, this is what I see when I see Russell Westbrook. I see a dog. Mm-hmm. I see no a person who is going to try to win even though they're down 50. A rabbit dog. I, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I see a person who goes 100 miles per hour, sometime OC, but, man, I'm trying to get to the bucket quick. Uh, so I can get. I see a person that's playing hard defense mm-hmm. every single play. Mm-hmm. Coach, I want to play every single minute. Mm-hmm. Coach, you took me out. Put me back in, Coach. Mm-hmm. No th- th- this is a yeah. different type of breed type of dude. Sure. Now, not trying to say that he is a Kobe Bryant, but Kobe Bryant was a person like that. Sure. I'm going to play hard on defense every right. single play. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to make the bucket every single time on mm-hmm. offense. I don't want to be sitting on the bench. Mm-hmm. I got an attitude. Put me back in the game. Mm-hmm. I'm the best player on this team. Mm-hmm. Yada, yada, yada. I like dog mentalities like that. Sure. But sometimes dog mentalities like that yeah. may not work with people who don't have sure. that type of personality. Everybody not everybody not built like that. Everybody's, everybody's not, everybody's built, not like built that, that way. No. It's the generation. No. Exactly. Yeah. No. That's everybody. tough. But at the same time, do you guys think there's a time and place for that? You also, as an athlete, have to pace yourself. Sure. And sometimes that dog mentality is getting in the way of what the team Boy, is doing. Hold on. Yeah. Speak now, from an athlete. Go ahead. I know what you're yeah. going to say. Russell Wilson. Well, I'm, saying, I'm saying as far as for I, for the team, if you're doing I, all this stuff I totally, erratically. I totally understand it, what you're saying. outside of the t- the team concept I get, I get what you're saying, and I'm, I'm going to have a point on it too. Go ahead, Will. He plays so hard. It's ridiculous sometimes. It really is, bro. I think they – are gonna, if he's going to be there, which I think he's going to get traded, because mm-hmm. they're already talking yeah, about it. Yeah, they're already it. talking about it. He needs to play off the ball. Mm-hmm. That'll help him. Yeah. Because he plays so hard with the ball. Sure. He's He overcomes everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be so much more beneficial to just yeah. be a slasher. Yep. Yeah. Hit his open jo- jumpers when he's making it. Sure. But he's he's so everything. He's so pressed. Yeah. He plays so hard. He looks at you like, why are you not? Why are you hard? not doing it, <laughs> right? Well, yeah. well, well, sir. First of all, you're the one with the basketball. That's probably why. <laughs> I mean that that that's that could be the main reason. And can he play you on know, the but, ball? And and that was gonna be my second point. He has to be able. His jump shot didn't fall this year. No, it just didn't. Mm-hmm. Like I, I think, I think outside of 15 feet, dude was like 29. percent Yeah, ben, and I, Ben Simmons yeah. like yeah, 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 probably. I know he was a little bit better than that. Yeah. <laughs> ben Simmons is horrible. At least, at least he shot it. At yeah. least he yeah. shot it. At least he right. shot it. Because Ben, we know ben didn't shoot it. Yeah. But I, I think in order for that to happen, which I totally agree with, I, I really believe something like that has to happen in order for him to be, – because when he has the ball, it's, it's either it's either bang or, or, or bust. you got to like, run with him, though. I understand, I, I, and, I, and I get that, and I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. But it's either bang or bust. You you either gonna get some dope out of him, or he's gonna turn the ball over. Like like it's never going to every time reach his target, and then they might turn it over or they might miss a shot. He's gonna throw it out of bounds, or or he gonna make somebody look stupid getting to the bucket like like he does. But what you said, Will, him playing off the ball would be like the perfect thing if he was knocking down at least his mid-range jumper on a consistent basis. Yeah, I would I, not disagree with yeah, that. I think he can. Go ahead. Go now, ahead. What, now what Will was saying is, is how he's played so hard yes. in right. every possession. Yes. Mm-hmm. You have to have a team like that. Yes. Right. And a the team, mentality. I think the only team right now that you can say that would fit him that plays hard like that on mm-hmm. every possession mm-hmm. is, 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 is the Clippers. Right. The Clippers play hard. Right. That would be a good fit for him. I, I but want to say the Bucks too, though. Toronto, yeah. Toronto would be mm-hmm. would be would be dope. They, yeah. Them boys play hard, man. Yeah. They I, do. I was thinking about the landing destinations where he would go. Mm-hmm. I couldn't find one, but that was good, bro. We, we yeah, like he got to go to a contender, and we was yeah. we was talking about that before yeah. the show. The, the Knicks is the only one that that's makes the only sense. team that even makes sense right now. They need a star. Yep. They mm-hmm. have young pieces to trade. Right. He would make uh, them relevant in the East. He they would, would be a playoff. He would. He's a playoff. No yeah. question. He would. But, but they have, in my, what I would say, humble opinion, yeah. they got to give Kevin Knox. They got to mm-hmm. give Mitchell Robertson. Mm-hmm. They give Alonzo Trayer and two firsts. <sighs> yeah, that might that, be a little I too really much. I really like That's Kevin fine. Knox, bro. Yeah, That's I like Knox. Guy, I feel you. Bro. I feel you. I you. But I'm not Knox. sure. I, I would. I would. He's an MVP. Two, because two you're, you're sure. talking about you're sure. talking about dogs. Uh, him and him and Julius Randle 
Julius Ooh. Randle's a I dog. Love, I love. I, I think. I think they would. They would go well together because yeah. from from a point guard standpoint, Russ plays like Randle does from a power forward RJ, big RJ, man. RJ Barrett's gonna grow standpoint. up. Standpoint, absolutely. Absolutely, they, they would have a decent. They would have a decent. That would that would that would be decent. That would bring some life to New York. Sure, it would. They, they, need, it. they need it because I feel bad for them. Boy, yeah, it's I'd be tough. To them in the chat. Yeah. I'd be like, it's tough. I hate, and I, I, hate, and I, I hate y'all, but I feel bad for you. And tough. I think, and and the way that Re, uh, Russell Westbrook plays, I think that New York would appreciate him, mm -hmm. appreciate yeah. the hell out of him. Number one, yeah, sure. And uh, whether they were losing the uh, uh, or winning or losing, mm -hmm. Russell Westbrook in New York is exactly what New York wants and needs in a person who does not take any possession off. And that's a mm -hmm. good coach to coach him, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be his best coach. And he fits right in fashion. Yeah. <sighs> Let the ball bounce. Sports wow. Talk Radio. You're on with Dre Bailey, Goose Thomas, Sheesh. Bill Block, and Logan, and uh, guest appearance by Mr. Will himself us uh, yeah mr will and young jay in the background <laughs> young, young jay in the and background. young jay in the background y'all call it call it call it what's your name what's your question oh what's going on you this is c matt how y'all doing c matt happening? in the building what's what good brody what's happening hold on oh, we're getting, man, we're getting another call hold on <laughs> <laughs> oh my there go god there go quad <laughs> there you go <laughs> <laughs> He's stopping your dissertation before right. it happens. That's funny. <laughs> or soliloquy. <laughs> <The> soliloquy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 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 I man. promise myself I'm going to be very, very low-key today. I'm like, man, Absolutely, this, this, bro. this is a good show, man. Appreciate <laughs> you, man. Appreciate but, uh, you. Shout, shout out to Will, uh, the, the, the addition. Great points. I wanted yep. to just kind of bounce off of some things he had said. I never thought about it this way of uh, what Russell Westbrook, right? Mm -hmm. um, KD, we heard about the rumblings of him being sensitive in, mm -hmm. Oak, you know, in Oakland. You know, oh, I'm yeah. not, I'm not, he didn't feel good. And after he won the championship, he didn't feel a part of the team. And, you know, these guys are so different. Like he, like Will mentioned that, you know, they're like, what are you looking for? You're winning. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like with Paul George, what are you sensitive about? You have right. a chance to do something great. That, that's why, speaking of Paul George, I understand what Kawhi was thinking. I just don't think Paul George is the guy mm. to take you to the promised land mm. as your, as your exactly. sidekick mm. because he ain't got the dog in him. Now, people are going to say, but, but, but uh, you know, Montez Harrell and uh, what's the other cat, the uh, little small guard, uh, yeah, Beverly has the dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Them, those do. are dogs. Those are dogs. They're dogs. Pit bulls. But when you're six foot, when you're six foot one dog, you're a six foot one yeah. dog, right? Yeah. And then you're a six foot eight big man dog. It's only going to take you so far. These sure. guys have a dog in them, yeah. but it's only going to take you so far because when you start getting up to the higher levels of the playoffs, yeah. Guys are going to be just as good as you, yeah. and the talent takes over. And, and, so, and you run and into he should have got George. he should have gotten his dog training <laughs> <laughs> from Russ. <laughs> you know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, and evidently he didn't. Hey, but see, Matt, uh, and then you run into other dog packs <laughs> along yeah. the way. Yeah. So it's just oh man, just not him. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, I just feel like you know, Paul, uh, Kawhi Leonard. I feel like he he want. I respect him for yeah. wanting to be his own man. Sure. I, I have to give him, I have to respect that. You can only respect that. I think that the other thing I want, I'm, I'm going to make another statement. I have a question before I go. One statement about Kawhi is when he got drafted, two years later, he was in the finals. Yeah. He was with the whole Hall of Fame team. You know, yeah. he had the coach, yeah. the three Hall of Famers. So he was dropped in a situation where he could grow and didn't have to be stressed, really. Sure. He just, boom, he, you know. So he, got the, he gets the MVP in the finals because – Anybody who goes up against LeBron and does anything with that kind of pressure off you when you don't have to be that guy. You got mm -hmm. Duncan still had enough in the tank. You got Ginobili had enough. You had a lot, enough. And you have a, the, one of the top three coaches of all time. Right. Move him to, to Toronto. He gets dropped into another race teammate situation. Yep. A bunch of guys who are hungry mm -hmm. for five years who have been winning 50, 60 games. Mm -hmm. I'm so interested to see him in the Clippers because now this will be, in my opinion, his truest test as a player. Hmm. Because you got to take the culture of the freaking Clippers and a guy next to you who's not a dog as your number one A guy, hmm. and you got to raise that to be 
the top dog in the hall, all of the NBA. And I'm really curious to see Kawhi for the first time not be dropped into a ready-made situation. Mm. People aren't even thinking about that. Interesting. My man is a baller. No but question. He's been dropped into ready-made situations from right. college, then to Toronto. The Clippers situation ain't ready-made. But 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 that bench but, is a problem. Absolutely. But to that to that point though, C Matt, and and I mean, excellent call, bro. Great points. Um just everything, bro. Excellent. But to that point though. When, when you're looking at the Toronto Raptors, for example, even though they were 50 plus, they were a 50 plus win team, right? We're looking at that team. How bad does um, my, my guy that, that was with OKC, what's my man's name, dog? Why, why am I forgetting his name right now? The, the, the big, the big that was with OKC. Ibaka. 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 Why does he get talked about so bad? And, and, and these, are, these are rhetorical questions because I'm going to answer it. He gets talked about bad, right? How about Kyle Lowry? Mm-hmm. He gets talked about real bad, doesn't he? Yeah. And, and I'm just going to go off of those two. Yeah. They won 50 games, but those two dudes get talked about real, real bad. Why? It's because they couldn't get it done, bro. So when, when you dropping Kawhi into that situation, you look, you're looking at them as a 50-plus win team, and we're not here to dismiss that. But just how good were they, bro? And I'm the only one How on the show were they? that said that they were going to the it, with, with Kawhi hmm. going over to Toronto that they were going to make it all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. How good were they really? They're well, a good I regular, mean, se- they're good regular NBA season team. team. You know? Exactly, they're a good they're regular, regular season, season team. team. Yeah, be- because because right. when we when we look at sports as a whole, and this is just not basketball. When we talking about sports, you look at somebody like a Peyton Manning. Yeah, who you love, Will. He loves, he loves Peyton Manning. But he's the best regular season quarterback ever. He's the best regular right. season quarterback ever. Right? Right. Always right. had weapons around him, right? Mm-hmm. How many chips he got? Got two, right? Two, how, many, how, how, many, got two. How, many, how many was he projected to win? At least five. At least five. Like, yeah. come on, man. Like, we, we got we to gotta put things in perspective, bro. He should <laughs> have just as many <laughs> no, I, as Tom. That part. And right. he ain't talking no, about I'm not, I'm Tom. Not. Tom. <laughs> Will's going crazy over here. Because he loves him. I, I and I, know I, was, I knew you I was going like to get him because he absolutely in the room. loves Peyton Manning, bro. I and I knew I was going to get him with it. Because he loves him, bro. I knew I was going to get him with it. Put Put them in the same situation. That's the only way you can. No, evaluate. Goose, you got a great That's point. That's the only I'm not, way you, you, you know, evaluate it, it was his great to people like that. Oh, if hmm? you put them in the same, put put Peyton Manning with Bill Belichick. Put, put, put Tom Brady with, with Joseph Adai and, and no 3,000 yard wide out. Sure, I will. No chance. And he, and he, and he doesn't, he, he, he does not have five or six. He doesn't. Put him with Reggie Wayne. He doesn't. He put doesn't. him with Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, and Brandon Stokely. Sure. Ooh. <laughs> Let, let's swap them out real quick. I, I don't think Tom Brady will pass for 10,000 yards in that season. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, well, I think the system has something to do. We, you know, we're getting off, but the system is a lot. Yeah, and I, absolutely. And my question absolutely. Is I'm this. just messing with Will, man. <laughs> you, got a, you made a good point, Goose. You're right. I mean, I'm not knocking Kawhi. I'm just saying I just see a, a 50-win team, and you put him to go over the top, mm. and then you get two major injuries. Yeah. There's a lot of things that worked in his favor, and not knocking him, they did it. Yeah. I'm just saying, I think the Clippers will be his greatest test. And by comparison, you got LeBron taking C.D. Osmond and Jordan Clarkson to the finals. Just to give you an example of what you what it takes to really take some of these lesser teams, does Kawhi have that? We don't know yet. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say he does. We'll mm-hmm. find out. Yeah. I, think, I think it's a great addition. But here's my question. With the Lakers addition, and I'm going to leave uh, for you guys to answer this, with the, with, with the Cousins, and uh, what's the uh, AD mm-hmm. and JaVale, mm-hmm. do you guys feel that that front line it will be enough to take them over the top, if healthy, mm-hmm. to win a, 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 you know, a title? Mm-hmm. First of all, thank you for the time, guys. And appreciate I'll, I'll, I'll you, C-Mat, up. man. Big time, right. man. Thanks, C-Mat. Big appreciate time. it, man. What you think? What you think, Dre? Y'all go ahead. I'll, you uh, you uh, chime in later? Well, um, I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, you know, it's it's – Whatever team can race to the best chemistry first. Mm. Um, race, I know, like that. I like that uh, it's word. A, it's, bro. A, it's a race uh, for the best chemistry. We have a mm. lot of teams in the NBA right now uh, that are newly look, 
uh, a lot of uh, big names going to smaller markets, a lot of uh, 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 smaller market uh, names going to big markets. And so you have to figure out who can race towards building a, a good mix with each other quicker. Mm -hmm. I think the quicker that you get into the lab as a team and as a whole, uh, you'll be able to find out. I would slightly give the edge to the Lakers only because the people that they did bring back, a Rondo, JaVale McGee, a uh, uh, Pope, um, you know, Kuzma, yeah. and LeBron, those guys have already been working together sure. for about a year and a half. Sure. Right? And you just add a big piece in with uh, AD. Sure. And, you the know. The rest of the pieces. The, the, sure. You know, the, the other mm -hmm. pieces. Right. You, you're dealing with a good chemistry already sure. off top. Sure. I think Clippers, uh, they have to integrate Paul George and Kawhi Leonard into that Clippers organization. Now, that team was dogs without them. Now you're bringing in two superstars, kind of like how Boston brought in Hayward yeah. and, oh, and Kyrie Irving. Right? Great point. You have to figure oh. out, you have to figure out great how point. to mix these energies. Great point. These these you know, these superstars wow. together. Because that's and what it, may, it is. And great it may point. and it may take a time. Let's not forget about the Miami Heat when they mm -hmm. all got to together. To it took some time sure. to, to, to build that chemistry. Yeah. So right now, I think that this is a fill-out year mm -hmm. for the Clippers. I don't think that they're going to win a championship. Mm -hmm. If they do, I, you know, I, God you bless know, them. God bless them. God bless them. But I don't think it's going to happen that quickly. I give the edge slightly to teams that have better chemistry right now. And we, and we just talked about today's player how they're they're a different Excellent breed point, they're a different breed yeah. and that different breed fits right into what you're saying can these teams that have these new players can they really gel together sure and make something special it's, it's all about chemistry yeah. yeah it's all about chemistry okay that's what made golden state warriors absolutely dope no it's because they chemistry and they were all able to sacrifice not yeah. money Yep. But the actual ball. Yep. <laughs> Question uh, uh, by our caller. You're on with Dre Bailey. Goose, Bill Logan, what's the question? What's the question? Question, question. question. Caller, call, 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 what's your question? <laughs> oh, yeah, what's the question? Okay, my bad, man. No, you All right, how everybody say that the Lakers automatically the edge? LeBron, a Kyrie three, and a Ray Allen three for being one and nine in championship. Mm. Say that well. Okay. AD, Anthony Davis ain't won nothing. So what, what gives them the upper hand? I say chemistry. Chemistry gives them the upper hand. Chemistry, what chemistry? They don't, Anthony Davis and LeBron, they played together just like Paul George and and um, Kawhi played together. Well, well the, the the guys that they're that that's on the team currently, they're bringing those guys back, and they've already played okay, together. Okay, right. you got like Clippers up, uh, Clippers are bringing back. Yeah, uh, Clippers are bringing back. Um. Beverly, but your but your two but your two best players with the with the Clippers haven't played with that group yet. I think that's the okay. point that Dre the was two trying best to make. Players, LeBron yeah. and AD haven't played together. No, no, I'm I'm saying just Le like LeBron Paul George and Kawhi haven't played together. I, I to totally understand what you're saying, but that group that the Lakers had, LeBron has played okay. with them. All they have to do is integrate AD with with the group that the Clippers have. They have to integrate. Two people, which are their two okay. best players, and, and the group, the group that the Lakers had didn't do nothing. The group oh. that the Clippers had was in the was in the playoffs. Okay, so who you think got the better chemistry? The, the, uh, okay, well, well, I mean, LeBron got hurt at Christmas, like. We can't dismiss uh, uh, that, right? Uh, we we, we, we talking about the other players. No, 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 we no, 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 no. You, you, no, you mentioned playoffs, and I'm telling you why. Okay, right or no. Yeah, but I'm I mean, saying, I can see his I mean, point. I can see his point. Yeah, I, yeah. I definitely see his point. But, but, but I mean, but we, we the come Clippers back group will have more yeah. chemistry than the Lakers group. Right? They'd have played together longer okay. in the play okay. in, in tougher situations. Okay, let me ask you this: It's gonna be who, easier. Who, who, who gonna just be like you drop Kawhi, just like you drop Kawhi in Toronto. Kawhi mm -hmm. play basketball. He's Absolutely. A yeah, Ka Kawhi is different. We we not gonna even mention Kawhi. Yeah. He's just a different guy. But with but with the with the, with the Clippers though. My 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 only thing is with them. Who who are their shooters? Who's shooting the basketball for them from from three? 
because they traded away their 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 guy that was their best three point shooter. They traded him away and didn't get. They got Shamet and, and they got they got Shamet and, and Lou Williams. And I mean, is Lou a consistent three point shooter like that? He a bucket getter. He's a I mean, he gets buckets. Yeah, he a microwave for sure. He's he's Vinny, he's Vinny two point oh. Sure. Williams. Oh, absolutely. No you, you still got Lou Williams. Yeah. You still got Paul George. You got Kawhi. They they them shooters. Really? All right about Kawhi. I love Kawhi's game. I love it. I think yeah. I, I think I, I, love, I love LeBron I, I too. I he just got to but LeBron really got to he going he going to have to be Jordan S to come out there west. I, mm. I think, okay. I think I read Appreciate this. you. He going to have to be. Like yeah. everybody comparing to Jordan, he ain't on that level yet, but to come out there west right now, he going to have to be great. He going to have to be that great person that every, like the King James when he came into the league. Talking about what everybody Kawhi thought Leonard. he was going to do. You talking about Kawhi Leonard, right? No, he talking about LeBron. You talking, oh, talking about, about LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. He came in the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When LeBron came in the league, everybody had these high expectations. Mm -hmm. Like he and Ray Allen and a and a Kyrie three for being one and nine. I mean, to come out there West right now and win a championship. He gonna have to be a real dog. Dog. Wow. He gonna and, have to be and, and, and 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 Kobe Bryant and Shaq could have been a, a total number without Robert Ory and Derek Fisher. I'm just saying, like we could we could we could we can make those the Fed, the, those comparisons all game. Like it's a it's yeah, called can. a team game, uh, yeah, right? Can. So I mean, yeah, you know, it's a team game. Right. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, man. We appreciate you, yeah, bro. Yeah, but LeBron's going to come with it this year. Excellent. Like, like it's tough. Like, Utah. Everybody on the NBA, Utah would be just an upgrade. Yeah. If, yeah. That boy, if that boy Porter, if that boy Porter from Denver got in the game, Denver's going to be tough. Yeah, Porter. And, and, and he just, talk, he, we're yeah, we'll, we'll talk about him, but he just got knocked out of the summer league. He gets hurt too much. Yeah. <laughs> He's, yeah. He's hurt again. He's hurt again right now as we speak. Yeah, and we <laughs> Yeah, he's hurt again right now as we talking. So. Hey, hey, and stay and stay, stay tuned, stay bro. tuned because I got some excellent uh, question, bro. I got some I got some Porter update that I got at the summer league yesterday. So appreciate the phone call, appreciate man. Appreciate you, bro. Big time. I, I want to um the Kawhi thing that we brought up. You brought up chemistry. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that I read that. Kawhi's only played over 66 games two times in his whole career. So wow. you're telling me now he's going to be the best player mm -hmm. at the Clippers. How many games is he going to play? The, that, he sat out He sat out 22, 22 games. Healthy mm -hmm. scratch off. So yeah, yeah. you're telling me now chemistry, yeah, if he's going to be second, third street in, in the West. He's not playing 82. Exactly. I'm gonna play is he, is he playing 75? No. No, it'll, exactly. pro it'll probably so be if he plays sixty five. So it'll again, probably be seventy. So, it, so again, that mm -hmm. that 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 goes into yeah, it do, it does go into seventy four is the most he's ever played. Yeah, that, that goes into and the then a year after that, he only played nine. Okay. That goes into yeah. the chemistry. Yeah. So yes, it does. I I, I want to answer the the caller's question with just one simple comparison. Fr fresh off the wire, before you yeah. go, Spurs land Marcus Mor Morris. Oh, that's a good look. Mm -hmm. That's a good look for the Spurs. Mm -hmm. Solid. Spurs, boy. Two year, 20 million. We're going to talk about the Spurs. I, 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 Solid. I, I, that's good for him. Absolutely. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. They're not making the playoffs. So yeah. I'm going to answer the uh, caller, caller. If, you, if you're still listening uh, to the show, I'm going to answer your question. The Boston Celtics a couple of years ago went and met the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. They had a great chemistry with a young team. Uh, they challenge every person that they played against. And if LeBron James then wasn't Jordan-esque, the Cleveland Cavaliers would have never beat that Boston Celtics team. So listen to me when I tell you this. They took that already great team that challenged mm. Mm. the top of the throne. Take it over to the West. Same thing, right? They brought in Kyrie Irving and Hayward, who were supposed to be integrated into a already chemistry-born, built team. Those two egos didn't mesh well with the youngsters who already challenge the mountaintop, Preach. right? And so what I'm saying is sometimes chemistry becomes a great and a big factor when you're dealing with other teams in the league. Mm. Boston tried to take a page out of that book, and it didn't work. And now I think it set their team two years back sure, because they were already on the right path if they don't add Kyrie or Hayward. Yep. Mm. 
you got to actually watch basketball it's and tough see to exa- combat that because we watched it. It's tough now, to combat I'm not, that. And bro. I'm not saying this is no knock. And so now I'm on my soapbox now because no I got to go back to my thing. Now. No knock. So um, I, I, I hope that answered your question. Now back to Chris's question hmm. and the point that he brought up. I don't think that Paul George, Chris said, is that dude as a second star to get you to the championship. Mm-hmm. Now, by any means, I'm not about to diminish anything that Paul George has done over his career, but I just want to tell you something right now. I've seen Kawhi, I mean, not Kawhi, Paul George play great basketball sure. with some dogs on his team. Sure. And let me name a couple of dogs on that Pacers team Boy, that he had, he had when they played against the Miami Heat that gave the Miami Heat trouble. problems trouble. and troubles with three <laughs> or four superstars. <laughs> yeah. Right? So let's just say Paul George yeah. in his prime, dog. Mm-hmm. Lance Stevenson. Super dog. Super dog at that time. Don't say, think about say what it. you want about him. Don't, don't say, say what, what you want, want about him. You can't Super say he's not a dog, dog though. At that time. Roy Hibbert at that time could yeah. not be stopped on mm-hmm. the East. Mm-hmm. I just I gotta say it. And guess who they had for him. Hold on. David West yeah, boy. Dog, dog personified at that time. <laughs> Danny uh, Granger uh, yes. at that time. Dog. A dog. Out of New Mexico. So they had a team full of dogs. They had a dog pack. He was a hurt dog, but he was a he was, dog. Yeah, he was a hurt dog, Hold but on. he was a dog, though. So that he don't pay, fight. He that, don't fight for you. That 2004 <laughs> yeah. team had a team full of dogs, hmm. but guess who they had to play against? LeBron, LeBron James. James. And I'm going to say this right now, not as a stand, not as a, 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 a bronze sack, but hmm. LeBron James owns Paul George. Hmm. Let's does. keep this one thou out. Does. I don't care who he play he with. He does. Too big. Tally he's too, too big, big. Too fast. Move out my way. Entirely too big and too fast. Yeah. Chemistry. I think nobody's here to, to Chem- debate that. We point. didn't have to get an A in chemistry in high school to know that sometimes <laughs> chemistry worked. Goose and I have been doing this for a long time. Mm-hmm. Bill were, was integrated <laughs> into something that was already chemistry-wise great. Mm-hmm. And it worked. Yeah. But it took some time. Yeah. And I've never tried to, bro- to, 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 to rock the boat. No. Don't rock the boat. Why would I do that? He just brought his super duper knowledge. That's it. And now the ro- now the boat sails. Yeah. I just, Come on, man. You know. mm. Basketball enthusiasts, people man. who love in sports, man. you have to learn and watch the game for what it is. Got man. to, bro. You have to. Chemistry, you can't just throw anybody on, on a team yeah, and expect yeah. things to work Don't out. Work like it that. doesn't work that way. To Golden State's credit. Adding KD to an already uh, 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 chemistry-driven team worked because KD was already unselfish guy playing with Russell Westbrook. You got to be. He didn't demand the basketball a lot. He he averaged 16, 17 shots a game. Come on, man. To to put something like that onto onto a team full of dudes that like to pass you added, anyway. You added another element to that team. Went hard. You added another element to that team. Mm-hmm. You added an element of a guy who's able to get his own shot. Yeah. I don't need picks. No. Get away. No. I'm seven feet tall. I'm shooting over And I'm you. shooting over everybody. I'm driving. Yeah. A pick actually hurts me. And I'm shooting over me. the top. Now, that <laughs> hurt. Anything, and then yeah. you have to deal with that. And then you have to deal with chasing Clay Boy. off picks where so, all he need is a rub so and that, he's pulling yeah. up. So many so, different. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That so, so that yeah. It, yeah. it worked well. Help? Yeah. So and let me go on record. Shoot. Let me go on record and say this about the Clippers. They have a great team. But Clippers will have a problem this first year, year and a half, with ISO ball. Mm. Paul George is an ISO type of player. Sure. And Kawhi Leonard, although he's not an ISO type of player, that's the type of role he had to play Mm. with Toronto because they were playing hot potato looking to get him the ball. Yeah. Period. Interesting. So we're going to see how good of point guard skills does Patrick Beverly have in order to set his guys up mm-hmm. to be successful? He's and, last, and last I checked, he was great on the defensive end, not a great facilitator. Not at all. He's a great leader with his mouth. He's a great leader oh, on the defensive no end, and every team needs that. Yeah. Yeah. But 
Kawhi Leonard, ISO ball. Paul George, ISO ball. Mm -hmm. Lou Williams, ISO ball. Mm. They need players and people to get them the ball. The re and this one will not discredit Lou Williams out at all either no. for this comment I'm about Can't. to say. Can't. What has made him what has made him the best six man in the league Ugh. is because he is the best ISO ball player Boy, he's coming silky. off the bench. He's silky, Not bro. the best team Ugly. player no, coming the off the bench. Player, Not period. the best it's fit. Ugly. He's the best <laughs> ISO player. Him and Jamal Crawford has made a living Ugly. playing ISO ball. And nobody does it better coming off the bench. Nobody. If Russell Westbrook was coming off the bench, he will mm. be the best ISO ball player mm. in the league. Mm. So <sighs> you have these ISO ball players. And who is going to be the facilitator yeah. of this team? They don't have a Rondo. No. Last time I checked, nope. he's still playing the same building, but he wears purple and gold. Yep. And just because Lou mm -hmm. uh, led the team in assists don't mean he's the best facilitator. Mm. Boy, so if y'all want to talk basketball, we can talk. Let's, it. Let's talk. talk. And Lou is not going to get the ball leader. as much as, as right. he was last right. year. Sure. sure. They, they got to distribute th yeah. those minutes now. I really yeah. want to know who's the leader of that team. I would you brought two guys in that are not alpha mm -hmm. in terms of speaking outward. Sure. He is a he is a a, a mute. No, but I was, but my but question is, Kawhi do you really need that? Do you really? Because we just, we just seen it in Toronto. You really don't need that. Kyle Lowry it was the Ka leader. Kyle Lowry was the vocal leader yeah. for them. Meaning, yeah. yes. when something happened in the locker room or he needed to say something. Kyle Lowry was Kyle the dude. If something happens, and he's been there for years to it, do that, too. Yes. If something happens in the locker room, Kawhi Leonard is not going to say Let me that. tell you who's no. going to be the leader of that. Doc Rivers is the leader of of, of, of being well, the well, vocal well, well, we see I, I, coaches I, don't catch everything. I, 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 yeah, I, I can see that, but when something happens in practice, <laughs> there got to be somebody Still fans in the know locker that. room to say, yo, what's yeah. good, what's this, what's that? Sure. Kawhi is not that guy. Ooh. And, and, and to that point, man, we, we have to consider so much. We, we, look, we look at these moves. Right, that's being made over that's been made over the course of the last six days. Yeah, we look at all of these moves, right? <laughs> and while we're looking at them from a team aspect, from a basketball aspect, which is great, mm -hmm. that, that's what we're supposed to do. Supposed to look at it from a basketball aspect. There's so much more to team sport <laughs> yes, than just what we see on the television screen. Oh. So much more to team sport, bro. A lot of moving parts have to come together in order for things to work. Yes. We can take football for, for a cool example. Oof. The ultimate team game, mm -hmm. bro. Ultimate. The ultimate team game. And kickball. Go and, ahead, and, though. <laughs> and kickball. <laughs> Snatch him. Y'all well, cold. Y'all cold. They cold, Quan. <laughs> <laughs> Football, <laughs> ultimate team game. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. We've watched Tom Brady oh. time and time again. Sick to my stomach. Get it? It makes me sick. sick but but you as a if you're a fan of the game mm -hmm. yeah. and if you take it in, you have to admit what's happening. I yeah. hate him. He's done so much with so very little, it makes me sick to my entire stomach, bro. But 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 we've had remember remember when the Eagles tried to get get the super team mm -hmm. wide nine oh. what did they go seven and nine Nam the awesome why oh man they had it going Jason yeah. Babbing oh they yeah. had it moving he didn't they trash. yeah trash. but that goes to show you that goes to show you that uh, you might not need. Mm -hmm. Uber talent sure. to get it done. You, no, need, you, don't. you, you need, just need chemistry, bars, and, you chemistry, need chemistry and just do your job. Simple. Now we saw when I need you to run that curl at 13 yards. Yeah. Curl run it at 13. 13. Yeah. Right now. ASAP. I need that. You better. We, you better. Yeah. We, we saw a lot of teams in the 80s and in the, even in the early 90s mm -hmm. win, not necessarily with the best talent but the best chemistry, Boy. okay? So you can't tell me that a John Sally or or what's the big, big, big uh, uh, white boy that played Lane for? Lambeer. Bill Lambeer. Lambeer. If they go to any <laughs> other team, that they would have had the effect yeah. that they had with the Detroit Pistons. Come on, man. Yeah. Stop diminishing that. Yeah. That team had a great chemistry. Sure they did. had the microwave. Man. 
which came off the bench Me. and heated them up. So this is why Joe I D. say that the Lakers have a slight edge over the Clippers as far as chemistry. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that Rondo and AD played together. And Rondo is a great and cousins. And, and, cousins, and, cousins, and, yeah. and cousins. They played together. Yeah. Rondo is a great facilitator when getting his big men involved. Sure. If they have hands and feet. Man. He can get it to you. He had a 20 assist game in, in uh, New Orleans with wow. Anthony Davis. Right? Yes. yes. Rondo and LeBron James ah, have a good bro. chemistry for playing together and Kuzma for, and, 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 and KCP yep. for stuff. playing together yeah. last year. McGee. It was all on right? the team together. Yeah. And, okay, yeah. now let's talk about Cook. Cook mm. has a chemistry with DeMarcus Cousins because yep. they were on the second team together. Yep. Okay, so I just give them a slight edge in chemistry. LeBron James and AD, no, they haven't played together mm. in on an NBA team, but they play together on the All Star team. Uh -huh. And boy, I tell you, he's an Army Swiss knife. He's gonna he, he, like he can, he'll he'll can fit, fit in. anywhere. Yeah. He'll fit in with the Aces. This, this is right, and this yeah. this is how I feel about about a, a Kawhi Leonard. We were talking about him earlier, how he was just dropped into a situation in Toronto. I just think he he just plays basketball. So when you have basketball IQ, chemistry at that point, while it matters, when you have basketball IQ and you just play basketball, some things, what's understood doesn't have to be explained, right. bro. When we're talking about the game of basketball, basketball. And, and basketball IQ and 101, bro. Yeah. Basketball IQ and 101 are what they are. Boy, You I'm don't have to have chemistry for right. that, bro. I'm Everything so else will work itself out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Our, our team element point. will work itself out. Yeah. Basketball 101 and IQ don't have to be explained, bro. Yeah. Especially with veterans. Absolutely. People that's been playing this These game, These are veterans. Bro. These are veterans. Rondo and LeBron. These so, are vets right I'm, now, bro. Ridiculous. They know what they're doing. That's a great point ridiculous. that Goo said, and yeah. that is an excellent point that you brought up ridiculous. with saying who is the clear-cut on-the-court leader of the Clippers. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you this. Let's go to the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Who is the clear-cut leader on the court for the Lakers, I, 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 LeBron has to be, or I mean, Rondo, Rondo, or, or, Rondo, Rondo. I, or AD. 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 He can't be. Yeah. Well, we we talking but about because because Rondo will probably he doesn't have to. Well, Rondo will probably be starting. Yeah, definitely. Yes, he'll be, he'll be uh, starting. Uh, so he, we have one point guard. His name is Frazier on Rondo yeah, on, the, on the roster. Yeah, and yeah, that's I, a good look. Yeah, and and AD has the same court mentality as Kawhi. Sure, he's not really vocal. No, no. he's not. He's not a vocal no. guy. He just, he just, he plays. just showed the hoop. Right, he just play. He's right. a lot more vocal than Kawhi, though. Uh, yeah, he is, mm -hmm. and and that's and, <laughs> how I much mean, more though? Yeah, a lot more. A lot more. A lot more. Like Kawhi doesn't say anything. Well, Kawhi's yeah. mute. Like he's yeah. a mute. Yeah. He's like a. The fact that he, he sounds like Will on the mic. Boardman. Boardman. No, sounds like Will on the mic. Will, 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 is, Will, is, Will has man. more vocal. <laughs> yeah. So right <laughs> now. 3 a.m. Yeah. Eastern time. Yeah, that part. It. Hold on. Kawhi <laughs> just called in. Uh, that just makes perfect sense. You, you, yeah, Kawhi, you, you're on you'll the air. Give, you'll, give, you'll give from Kawhi. Boardman. <laughs> Hold on. Kawhi's talking, playing. bro. Hold on. <laughs> Kawhi, you're. Yeah. You there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> That's classic. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, it's classic, bro. It's classic. But you you give him Kawhi, yeah. board man. Board man. When he's playing no defense on you, nope, 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 yep. nope. Absolutely. That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. You know. All right. Wow. You know, I think I think <laughs> right now is a great time to become an NBA fan Boy. because this Boy, is you better hurry up. The landscape <laughs> of the West and the East uh, has changed, and it could be anybody's game. Now, look, this week um, the NBA Summer League uh, started, and uh, it's going to be some great basketball. We saw some uh, some highlights and some in-person uh, action from Zion Williamson uh, over uh, in New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, we were there last night, and the boy looks every bit of 300 pounds. I think that he will lose weight over the course of time. Uh, you know, now they shut him down for the summer. Yeah, they shut yeah. him down. And I think it's a good look. I mean, yeah. you're dealing with the number one pick. You don't want to have him wanna, do too much. No. You know what I'm saying? It's more than no. the number one pick. Right? It's, time, it's time to go to work now for the season. He's, right. that's he's, what, that's what he's he out there looking like Stanley franchise. Roberts right now. Boy. <laughs> I'm gonna need him to get down to Sean Kemp uh, uh, weight when look, he was at his man. height. He he is. That important not only to the New Orleans Pelicans, but I believe to the city of New Orleans yeah. right now, bro. He's very important, bro. Yeah. He's very important yeah. to them right now, bro. So I think it I think it's a good look uh that 
all of these teams are making the the, the trades and and people are landing where they're supposed to. Yeah. You know, um, you know, it, it's Paul George a snake. I mean, is is Kawhi it's, Leonard a it's, snake? It's a for, question. It's, it's out there. Yeah, is Kawhi Leonard a snake for? You know, uh, making Laker fans really so believe that he Kawhi, was coming there. Kawhi moved the meeting for the Lakers to a different location so that's he could meet with Paul George. That's that's what happened. That's that's kind of they moved the meeting for the Lakers so he could meet with Paul George right after. Which that. posed up my question: Why, if 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 he really wanted to be yeah, there, yeah. why not sign? Yeah, was it a leverage move? To have the Lakers in the mix, <laughs> and so it, it, that it's a lot of it's a lot of snake moves been going on because although Goose, I, Bill Logan have been telling you on this actual radio show, yeah. the actual that, one, that that the Lakers <laughs> should go after a, another third big star, but. Just go after pieces and build your team around the two big stars. We've been preaching that for months. Nobody wanted to hear because we're still getting posts. Do is this a radio show? <laughs> <laughs> still right now to this it day. It makes no sense to We've been me. Doing this it makes years. no it makes no sense. We just got another post asking. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's tough, man. So with that being said, we've been told you that. Yep. There are players that the Lakers could have really, really went after so that really know. would have. Sol- now, although the, the 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 team that they putting together now is good, but it could have been better. better. Yep. Because could've let me better. tell you this, Brogdon was out there, Brogdon and if you had there, the money, Boy, I'm pretty sure you would take Brogdon oh, over Rondo. Let's, long, let's just keep bro. it wild. Yeah. That's not wild. even an yeah. argument, bro. Yeah, It's not even an argument we having yeah. right now. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not even a question. There bro. are players Throwing out that there. Bread at him. There are players out there that the yeah. Lakers could have actively went after to make their team basically around LeBron James and AD, like they're doing now. Sure. But now they're against their backs up against the wall, and they're looking at the eight ball right now, yeah. man. Now, These now are the lower level dudes. Yeah. Now, now to now to the Lakers' credit, I'm not getting ready to bash them all the way. To the Lakers' credit, re-signing. Uh, a few of the guys that they had on last year's roster, yeah, well, they, those were good moves. Mm-hmm. When, I, I, I was for keeping JaVale McGee. I was for that. I was for keeping Rajon Rondo. Mm-hmm. I was for that. The the move that really surprised me, which I like a lot, and I don't even I I can't stand Duke. But Quinn Cook coming over is gigantic to yeah. me. That's a good energy off the bench. Another energy and, he can and shoot. a great shooter. Yes, he is. I'm good with that. And not scared. Not scared at all. Not afraid I'm of the good big with moment. that. Now, again, we were just talking about Malcolm Brogdon. Mm. Humongous. We're talking about a shooter that defends. We talk about Pat Beverly. Mm. And I love Pat Beverly. Love his energy. Love all that. But Pat, Pat Beverly... Is is a rah rah dude, Malcolm Brogdon, and a little is, dirty and, and a little bit dirty. Malcolm Brogdon is is equally as good a defender as Pat Beverly, mm. and don't say a word, bro, mm. and can shoot the basketball. Mm. So so He's what are we doing? What shooter. are we doing? Pat Pat Beverly or Malcolm Brogdon? I posted that. I'll let you be the judge. I posted yeah. that like four weeks ago mm. when bro. when when it came up. Yes, I would I would have wanted us to go after Malcolm Brogdon. Absolutely. Hey, bro. So hey, bro. I, th- I think a little bit of the inexperienced, uh, uh, inexperienced showed uh, in Lakers yeah. front office. In my opinion, I think um, you know just having LeBron James and AD was were two great pieces that you could build around. Adding a Kawhi Leonard, who literally, it it it's it's really a no brainer in my mm-hmm. eyes. Yeah. If if Kawhi Leonard really wanted to be a Laker, knowing that AD and LeBron James was there are already, he wouldn't have had to meet with no other teams. Totally agree. Yeah, he would have signed. That. I agree with that. But he wasn't. He's not really sold on, you know, really playing. Which I thought, in my opinion with other superstars until he just orchestrated one of the best Boy, that was chess crazy. moves that was crazy. I've ever seen in my entire life. That was crazy. Don't ever have anything sly or slick to say 
about that kid from Fresno, Man. uh, Kawhi Leonard, because guess what? If he robbed a bank, we wouldn't even know. <laughs> smooth, smooth to the vault, bro. Those are the type of dudes that I want on my team. Smooth we, to the vault. We go to a party. Whatever happens at the party, it's stay gonna, at the party. Yeah. In his eyes. Yeah. Did, I wasn't at the party. I wasn't even there. I don't even know what you're talking about. That part, actually, I won't even tell you nothing. Hey, the Kawhi, would you, were you at the party? <laughs> 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 I don't but even know you, got, you, you guys right talk now. about snake moves with with the players. Aren't you happy though that now the players are in full control? Sure, because the sure. owners I was say that. for sure. so many years sure. I was have controlled the narrative, sure. and they're snakes because sure. oh, oh, we're loyal to you. No, they're not. De Demar Derozan in no. Toronto, we're no. loyal to you. No. We're not trading no, you. Not. Two days later, they no, trade them. No, and not. this is why <laughs> I was always on the defense of LeBron James uh, being he helped make this happen. Oh, absolutely, being one of the first. To call up the homie and say, "Hey man, yeah, talk to the owner over there." What's happening? Let's let's try to get together. What's happening? Because now it's putting the power back into the players' hands, which it should be. Because the basketball that I watched when I was growing up, sometimes I didn't know if a person was going to get traded, and they didn't even know. Wow. But now they control their own narrative, man. How? And that, how and that, and that, I love that. And that's what I was going to say. Player control is huge, and I love it. Again. Yes, you could trade me, it. but I'm not going to resign yeah. with you like yeah. Kawhi mm -hmm. just did with mm -hmm. Toronto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he brought them a championship, mm -hmm. so they don't care. Yeah. Yeah. And and mm. and shorter term deals for a lot of money is great mm. too. That's the because best if, move. If it don't it's the work best out, move. It's absolutely if it the best doesn't move. work out, yeah. and yeah. it can hurt against you because what when you sign short term deals, Marcus Cousins, you're putting the expectations and you're putting your play on the court and so at, you're at betting on yourself. Front. You're yeah, betting, betting on, on yourself. yourself. Yeah. You're saying I'm going to be good or better in these two years so I can get a bigger yeah. bet. I'm gonna bet on myself. True. Demarcus Cousins bet on himself knowing that he could not put the chicken sandwich down. Come on, dog. Ha <laughs> I can see if the man was out there getting in absolute the best shape of his life yeah. like Oladipo did Boy. when they got rid of him for Paul George. I know he's sitting out sitting out like wow. And he mm. felt some he's he felt some way about himself mm. by turning down the money that New Orleans offered him. Mm -hmm. You felt some you felt good. Yeah. Yeah. I can turn that down cuz I know I can get more than that uh, for 40. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. That was so, a mistake. Yes, that was a mistake. You that have, was a mistake. You look back at it now. You have yeah. to put back into what you put in. Mm -hmm. have to do if, it. if I'm make if I'm making you know thirty forty million dollars, I can't just be out there spending it. You know, I gotta put I gotta, I gotta put a lot back into gotta be gotta be being the best that I can be. Gotta be frugal to a certain extent, yeah. right? Come on, Demarcus Cousins. Mm -hmm. Maybe being in this Laker culture will kind of get you in shape because Pat Riley was big on on oh, being in the be. best shape you gotta possible. Be but maybe Pat. hanging with you know LeBron and and AD and they've been able to take care of their bodies. Even body Rondo right. uh, and even Jamel Javel McGee, sure. who's transformed his body. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Well, to a fault almost. Yeah, almost. Huh? He <laughs> still gives you some Javel McGee moments. Yeah, almost passed. Yeah, yeah. You gotta drink more water. Yeah, you gotta yeah, drink you gotta, more water. You gotta have some jug, of that alcohol, jug life, man. Whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, jug life. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm -hmm. No, but the uh, uh, the Lakers, if you look, all the deals were two years. Mm -hmm. They're positioning themselves again. Sure. Twenty one. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. No. No. Nothing. Nothing. And and that's what I was saying about Malcolm Brogdon when you said, "Well, at twenty two a year." But if I'm if I'm Malcolm Brogdon and I'm looking at that roster, mm. okay. I may have gotten more over. I may have gotten offered more over here, but I got a chance to win mm. over here. So if I'm getting offered 22 over here and the Lakers say 16, but, and I got a chance to win, I'm going with I'm going with the 16 or 17 that I'm gonna get here and end up making it making making it back on the, on the back, second on the, on the, the second contract. Did the, did or the, the Pacers did the Pacers sign and trade him? Did did they sign and trade? No, I think he was unrestricted. If no, I'm not mistaken, no, he, was re, he was a restricted free agent really? at the beginning of okay, okay. which, which would have put us in a bad spot for got two, you, two, three got days. you, got you, got <laughs> you. Understood, and, and, understood. So and it was a sign and trade. Yep. It, it was, was a sign and trade. trade. Yep. It absolutely was so, a sign so and trade. That, that puts us in peril for a yeah. while. Yeah. Well, I'm only gonna tell you this: Seth Curry is the only one that I was like, dang. Yeah, four 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 year, thirty two million. that he got from Dallas. I don't think we would have had to give him that much. I don't think so. 
I and and think I think so. he would have came too. Yes, oh, absolutely. Yes, but again, we waiting. That's the only one I, that I was yeah. hurt by. Three year, three it, it's year fine 15. because we gave KCP thirty million. Yeah, mm. I was supposed to just keep paying him. God, don't. Jiminy Cricket, unbelievable. Okay. So I, I like KCP. So, so <laughs> a think, little bit. A so little. think like about KCP. just a little couple bit. of the of Jiminy the players. Cricket. Let's just think about a couple of the players that could have landed mm -hmm. uh, in L.A. Mm -hmm. that would have been a better team that they have right now. Mm. That Brad, Brad, Boyan Brad, Bogdanovich, Brad Bogdanovich, Brad Bogdanovich, um, right? My, Seth Curry, Seth Curry, Brog, uh, Brogdon. Brogdon. Asterisks, though. But, we don't know for sure. I mean, I, I would have personally went after him, but but to Will's point, it, you don't you don't want to be in a bind with a restricted free agent, bro. You don't want not that. Offering twenty two, right? The Milwaukee will come back and say, "All right, we'll give you thirteen a year." Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but I think nowadays, and this goes to Langston Banks. Uh, Shout out, comment, Al Banks, man. <laughs> uh, that he made. Um, you know. People want to be in, you know, whether they tell you or not, they want to be in a a, a a good market. Absolutely. Right? Well, and so you Bucks fans, Sherm out there, if you're thinking that if Bucks don't win a championship in the next four or five years that the Greek freak is going to still be a Buck, mm -hmm. you're sadly mistaken. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think he's the one that would stay. Really? Yes. Wow. Not me. No. That boy wants wow. to win. I, I, I. I think he wants to win. He bro. wants to like, win. I, I knew he wanted to win when in the All-Star game, everybody else is prancing around, and he's the only one treating it as if it was round one of the playoffs. Boy, he don't know this was better. the All-Star game, no. bro, and he still doesn't. He don't know any better. He still doesn't. He gave, ain't learned they yet. They gave him his first shot. I, don't think he would, I really don't think he would leave. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. That, that's, a, that's up for debate, bro. If they're not winning. But but see that that's the thing. He would leave with with the team that they've put around him, and they made moves. They resigned everybody, so basically everybody's coming back. They're Besi key pieces. Besides, besides, Brogdon. besides Brogdon, everybody for the most part came back. But losing, Blitz, losing Brogdon and, was a big and deal. Next that was year, huge. Bro. And next year, now that Kawhi is in the West, mm -hmm. they went to the Eastern Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. You would think that that's the team that come Kawhi out. Shut mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kawhi shut him down. Kawhi shut him down. In yeah. the playoffs. Oh yeah. my God, the guy. Yeah. yeah. So now that it, might be the team that up. you're looking at coming out of the East. My, yeah. Milwaukee. For next year, you talking oh, about this, this coming up this season? This coming season. Paper, yeah. But, yeah. I, I, Sixers. I, 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 I like, I like the Sixers, lost their who, shooting. Who, 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 they, not, they ain't got nobody to shoot, bro. Celtics. Listen, who's going to. They're going to defend. And Miami's going right. after Russell uh, Westbrook right now. Ooh, they're going to defend. That'd be crazy. And Him Bradley and Bill. They're going to defend. Butler. Them. And Bradley Bill. Oh, my God. Ooh. That is the most asinine signing. That is agency. crazy. Him forcing his way to Miami made no sense. No, what, what, it, it will make sense in the next it, year or if two. You, if, you, if you're able to, to. He's the first piece, and he knows yeah. that. Yeah. If you're able to get him. Who's the next? If you're Bradley able to get Bill. him, Bradley Bill, and Russell Westbrook, yeah, Miami have could have be enough. cooking, bro. They have enough to get all, all the other two. Sneaky Pat? Sneak, sneaky sneak. Pat. Pat. <laughs> sneaky <laughs> Pat. That, I mean, I mean <laughs> it, it could oh, happen. But what's yeah. that say about Kawhi uh, not wanting to play with Jimmy Butler? Because I think Jimmy Butler would have been a clipper if Kawhi uh -huh. wanted that. Uh, I think I think Kawhi star, wanted to. A superstar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't even tell you what I think Kawhi. Nothing. Like, because the like, boy we don't, really don't know. talk. We, we don't, don't know. know. We don't I wouldn't know. have never told you that he orchestrated a chess move like this, knowing the entire time that Clippers was his destination, and he was allowing them and the front office to make it happen before he announced that he was going there. Uh, it, mm, wow. Who called who first? I thought Paul called him first. I th I want to say Paul Kawhi called call Paul uh, because because now Paul, can Paul, you imagine Paul has to has to orchestrate his end, which is the hardest piece. I thought that was Th the, this is just what I'm what I I'm, what it was I'm the thinking. Other way around. Well, well, if if I'm if I'm Kawhi Leonard, I'm already knowing what I'm doing over here, bro. You got to get your situation handled over there. Your situation yeah. is harder than mine yeah. because I, I'm 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 an unrestricted free agent. I can do what you I want. You got to get out of your. Joint. You got to get out of yours. I'm good. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking Kawhi yeah. got on the horn with him first and was like, "Hey, dog, I think it's so Nagle, look, I think we're Nagle, up out of there, bro." So <laughs> Will, Will, Will thinks this is the other way around, and I'm gonna give you an example of both ways that it could have happened. Mm. So this is Kawhi calling 
Paul George. Bring. Hello. You're Paul George. Hello. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give you the laugher. Uh, Hello. Yeah, exactly. What's happening? Exactly. Hey, dog. What you gonna do? Let me know something. I'll just demand a trade. <laughs> <laughs> now, you call me. I'm Kawhi Leonard. Okay. Bring. What up, Kawhi? What's popping with you, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Exactly. I'll, take, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> exactly. Click. Mad, my people will call you. <laughs> I'll have my people call your people. First of all, Uncle Dennis answer the phone. Calling, and that's number one. Yeah. That's number one. Uncle first Dennis answer that phone. <laughs> because Kawhi ain't answering nothing. No, I think Kawhi had people talking to him in third person. I don't think nobody really <laughs> spoke to Kawhi. I really think that they spoke to his representatives. He 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 spoke to the people he was yeah. most comfortable with. Sure. And those people relayed the type of information that he wanted out there. Wow. So if it was a call to Paul That's George, I don't if if it was a a call to Paul George, I don't think that it may have came from Kawhi, but it was from Kawhi's camp. Mm. The 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 call that was to Kawhi, it was to Kawhi's camp. It mm. wasn't to him. I don't think it was a long, drawn out conversation. It is what it is. Kawhi yeah. series. We're gonna yeah, find Danny that Green, out. Danny Green even said it. We're gonna find mm. that out when the when the team introduces these players. Ooh. Cause they're gonna be asked. That oh too. no question! Yeah. That LA they're media gonna is asked. gonna be all over they're that. They're gonna ask those questions. Are you kidding? So, I think they're gonna be politically man, correct. Man, please, the LA media? Mm-hmm. No, I'm talking about the players. They're gonna oh. answer it as politically man, correct. You're gonna as be in that press conference a long time. You better get your answers. Mm-hmm. Boy, you better get right tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tonight. You got to say something, Kawhi. You got to say something. You just can't laugh at all. You you, you ain't finna laugh this all. Well, I'm gonna tell you he, one he, thing. He I did. Sean Lynch this. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I don't, see, look. And, and Be w- while I understand that, and while I get it, and and while I believe it's possible, I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't man. think it's gonna happen. No. I don't think that's gonna happen, bro. The L.A. media is not going to allow you to get away with that, no. bro. What he just did no. needs explanation. It has to have explanation, it's bro. Have to come from Jerry West. It's gonna have to come from Sam Presti. Mm-hmm. He, will, he will not. He will not. He he or, will not talk. Or, Boy. or they might ask Doc to explain. No, Doc got fined already. We <laughs> nope. <laughs> Doc ain't finna say nothing. No. Nope. He he down 50k and Doc he mad doesn't about care it. about that fine now because look what it oh, led to. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, absolutely. And Paul George talks though. Paul Paul George Paul, did a TV Paul, show Paul. to let us know where he's going. Paul, a three-part so the series. comparison to comparison to Jordan was the was the difference to getting Kawhi to LA. Mm. So so uh Elijah Anderson uh posted he said according to the four letter network, Kawhi Leonard called PG first. Which is what I just said, right? Right. Well, well no I didn't. No I didn't. I didn't say that. But scratch that. Kawhi called PG first. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, no, I did say that cuz he mm, yeah, cuz yeah, yeah, Paul, yeah, yeah. Paul George had to get out of his situation. He called KD and PG to recruit them and caught them off guard. Mm. Hello. So is this Kawhi? So, <laughs> oh, butt dial. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know butt you had my, my number. Butt dial. Wow, bro. You know Th- this is strange. If people think that Paul George was loyal, I'm gonna need you to really know your basketball <sighs> history. When Paul George was an unrestricted free agent for the Indiana Pacers, mm-hmm. the Indiana Pacers got rid of a whole lot of people so mm-hmm. they could have money yeah. to, re-sign to re-sign Paul George. He <laughs> told them last minute, nah, man. I'm straight. <laughs> you need to trade for me. That's mm-hmm. where the trade came from yeah. so to OKC. Got there. That's exactly so how got there. Larry Bird could have told you about Paul George quicker mm-hmm. than anybody. Mm. Much faster than anybody. Because they was ready to give them him the bag mm-hmm. because the Pacers – were relevant in the playoffs before he left. Mm-hmm. They were trash after he left until the Oladipo came and mm-hmm. transformed their team, and they still had some money and assets to mm-hmm. actually to move some be, parts. They, to what move they, some what, parts. Were they tied up bag trash or open bag trash? <laughs> Boy, <laughs> drag bag trash. <laughs> they, 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 they was open. <laughs> Spoiled. The bag was open. Bag was open. Trash was open can bag. juice. <laughs> 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 Look, man. 
There's wow. no loyalty. Wow. There's wow. no loyalty in sports right now. Zero. Uh, no. You know, Russell Westbrook wants to trade, and if I'm OKC, I grant that, and I try to get as many assets yep. possible. Yep. Not from front, not just the players, the owners as well. Yeah, oh, the, the owners. owners, the owners, the owners. owners. Yeah. And let me tell you, if Russell Westbrook really want to shake it up, go join any. A playoff team on the East and join their other star mm-hmm. player, and you will have a balance out of this world. Yeah. So, so, so we were we were just talking about Russell Westbrook to the Miami Heat. Ugh. That if you that's two guys, hundred miles an hour dogs, <sighs> mega dogs. Mm. Ooh. I'm not talking about Jimmy pu- Jimmy pup, Butler. Pup, not puppy dogs. And, no, not puppy dogs. No, these are these are Gro- real. These are these are razor's edge bullies grown, that we talking about. Grown, Doberman sh- Pinscher. Strap, yes. strap them to the to, yeah. the, to the tree. Absolutely, outside. absolutely. With you can't little, come inside with the little bowl. You can't come in the house. I don't care if it's raining. Snowing. Nothing. You can't come in the house, bro. <laughs> yeah. no, the ESP is, <laughs> AESP is confirming that Kawhi called Paul. Yeah. There you go. After KD. Wow. And said no. See. Mm. <laughs> like you gotta get wow. your end situated, bro. Man. I'm good here. I can do what I need to do. So now he was coming home regardless. Look, look looking back, and, and, and you're probably regardless. right, bro. I, I won't even dismiss that. But looking at how long it took from July one, we talking about this man done went to Barbados. He done he done came back through, went to a couple of baseball games with his girl. Like taking his time, it all makes sense. Mm-hmm. It all makes sense, bro. Poor man gets paid. Man. And it's just the people trying to rush him to make a decision. He's like, sure. why is my why, decision? Why is my right. decision? I can right. take a week. I can take two weeks can if I need to what I to do. make oh, sure people, it's the right situation. Because I'm not page. going to the Clippers without Ooh. anybody. No. Exactly. So if it doesn't work, I might go to the Lakers with mm-hmm. people or I might just stay in Toronto mm-hmm. and try to get somebody in Toronto. Sure. So he, he had to make sure it was the right thing for, for him and his career and yeah. his money. Absolutely. And he did the right thing by waiting. Can't fault him for that. I was not mad that. at him at all Ever. for no. taking his time. No, never going to fault a man when you're talking about his money, bro. Yeah, and the problem was so many people signed so early this year. Yeah. yeah. Other yeah. years, it's not like that. Like Every, everyone's like, acting like, why, why isn't Kawhi, man. you know, he's yeah. being a jerk. It's, no, he's not. No, he's he's not. holding all of the cards. Exactly. And that's fine. He held, he held the whole NBA for like yeah. a good time. Yeah. And that's like, and good all the signings. And then like yeah. 12 signings. But now, yeah. but now you look at trash teams with trash owners like the Knicks mm. and you look at them and you, and you look at them and you say, you know what? Maybe it wasn't bad for them to drop out of the the, the Kawhi Leonard chase. We already knew we, uh, uh, that he didn't want to be here, right. so why even waste time? Right, they're, they're positioning for twenty one too. Yeah, they 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 have to position from they got they got to call they got to call Sam Presti. <laughs> they right need now. yeah they they're, they're screwed and their first round picks are gonna be good. Well, yeah. no, no, no. Well, I like RJ but, Barrett. Listen, not the, if, the not Knicks, everything they did this summer, obviously they didn't get big free agents which nobody was going there mm-hmm. they still had a good decent summer it's mm-hmm. not it's not like oh they, they didn't yeah. sign they didn't sign any long t- contracts knicks are known for overpaying oh, oh, absolutely. some whack players they just stopped paying they didn't, allen they didn't do that this year they didn't they just stop paying forwards. allen houston mm-hmm. like they a year or so ago probably jeez oh they got three pound forwards well yeah. i mean they're new- so bad they're the ones paying bobby bonilla yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that was just whoa, that's a great whoa, I want his agent whoa i want his agent boy Till 2035. Well, that's a whole piece. <laughs> yeah. Keep it coming. But you know what? Nine. more years. One point nine. <laughs> Every year. Damn. Every year. But you know what? Allen Iverson kind of did something smart like that also. He yeah. had with a contract money. with Reebok yeah. money. Yeah. He, he said, money. don't give me a certain amount of money until me. a certain age. Yep. But the stipulation was that he still had to be with his wife. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, she know. held all the cards for Yikes. that one. I didn't know that part. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know that part. <laughs> yeah. Yikes! Yeah, somebody kinda... was smart in his camp. That yeah, made yeah. That sure somebody he, did. He was that. in Atlantic yeah. City, ten thousand a hand. <laughs> well, and that's yeah. easy. And he was at Forty Forty Club here in Las Vegas. Oh. A little bit more than that, but he I got looking, you. He looking. He was looking sick. Wow. Mm. Sick. So uh, the person wow. that we've been kind of and 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 we're gonna shift a little bit to. To the summer league, summer league yes. so we can let you guys uh, have the rest of your Saturday. But because we didn't held you hostage, man. We was talking. <laughs> we've sure. been talking about that one cat. I know his name, but I'm gonna make y'all tell me mm. the one cat from Denver that's hurt again. MPJ. Oh yeah, Michael mm. Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. Unreal stuff, right? Man. So peep this out. Can't make it. There up. was a post that went up that said Michael Porter Jr. 
and I'm gonna bring it all full circle yes. with the conversation that I had with someone, and I'm gonna let you let you know right now, um, about how he's coming back and he's just gonna make a splash in NBA mm-hmm. playoffs. Mm-hmm. And I believe my comment was, yeah, okay, yeah, with the with the eyes, yeah, yeah, because we'll, we'll see. Not, not the emoji. I we'll see. see. Well, just 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 <laughs> just the. The just little, the little googly, just the little googly yeah. eyes. Googly eyes. <laughs> That's all, right? Yeah. And uh, Goose followed by saying, "What? We'll see." Because he's <laughs> prone to getting hurt. Wow. So let me tell you how full circle life is. And if you don't believe in karma or just the way that energy works, yeah. something's wrong with you. Real here in 2019. I don't know if it's the earthquake that that made this happen, but something happened. So I'm sitting at Summer League yesterday, like I said, watching the Spurs and Orlando game, and four or five people, this, this guy, two kids, and a lady walk up to my row. I'm the, sitting at the, 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 the first seat, and they want to go past me to, to sit in some seats. I'm like, oh, all right, let me stand up and let them get through. And so this very tall lady sat next to me. So we're watching the game. And the guy behind her is the guy that's sit, sitting behind her. So Michael P- Porter Jr. comes through the gym, and he looks at her. And he goes, you know, like, like cut it. And I was like, what does that mean? No. And she goes, I, I, Denver was supposed to be playing over in Thomas and Mac, but I guess they're not playing the game anymore. This was my first inclination that they were getting ready to shut the summer league down Mm -hmm. but i didn't know Mm -hmm. and i was like okay i wonder who is who she is Mm -hmm. so the guy behind her goes is that your son she said yeah that's my son i'm sitting next to his mama not knowing that i was just saying wow the the boy out here like mr glass right now (laughs) right so let me tell you how i flipped it (laughs) true story Ah. you can't make it up they make it up so the guy asked her is his knee okay is it She's like, it wasn't his knee. Mm. It was his ankle. Mm. And he just tweaked it a little bit in camp. And they just want to take precaution and just, mm-hmm. just have him just, you know, sit out. Sure. Uh, and he goes, oh, yeah, okay. I thought it was his knee that kept him out last year. She's like, no, it was his back. Mm-hmm. And, back. Uh, you know, he back surgery. Yeah, he's you back know, surgery. and his yeah. back is his back is a lot better. That guy should have Googled it before he started asking questions yeah. to his retard. So I'm I'm thinking at him, he's kind of ruined the conversation that I want to have with her because now he's asking conversation uh, asking questions as if he was a sports guy, uh, uh, announcer or uh, media, uh, media yeah, or media, whatever. Yeah. He's just a regular yeah. fan that just yeah. want to know something, but don't know nothing. So my words to her was. After he left, he's going to be fine. He's young. Yeah. He's going to heal. And as long as he stays positive, he'll be fine. Because we're looking at Lonnie Walker, the fourth oh, right yeah. now, who only played 17 games last year. Ready. And now ready. he's ready to play. Ready. We're looking at Mo Bamba, yep. who's playing right now, who missed a lot of games. So tell your son to stay encouraged was my conversation with her. Mm-hmm. And she goes, oh, my God, that felt so good to just hear somebody say that mm-hmm. about my son. Yeah. So then she goes, if I can just tell him and preach to him to stay off of social media. Wow. Boy, how many times have we talked about it on the show about these NBA players going to social media? And this is what she said, and I quote, he's on social media and he's always worried about what people are saying about him on social media. So this is Dre Day with Let the Ball Bounce, and I want to tell you, Porter Jr., Stay off of social media when it has to do with you and your money. The same advice that I gave KD before he got hurt. Stop worrying about what other people think about you, man, and live your life. They can't, though. In this this day and age, they can't. I coach them every day. Yeah. Hmm. They cannot. They cannot. Cannot. Bro, that is – and and I'm not trying to brag. This isn't a – 
you know, all about Dre session, but people who've known me and grew up with me know that I marched to the beat of my own drum. I never once, and this is one of the reasons that I'm successful to this day, I never once really cared about what the next person thought about how I dressed, how I talked, how I lived my life, how I raised my family. I only do it for me and mine's. And I'm super successful and comfortable with being who I am in my own skin. Sure? Come on, man. Sure? You are dealing with young kids that really worry about what us, media, social media says about them. Now, we talk a lot of crap on the page. Don't get it oh, twisted. absolutely. Go Por- in. Porter Jr., if you're a, a fan of the page, we go we in. We go in. We'll go, go in. in. But at the same time, we always speak real life on yeah. the show also yeah. stop worrying about it bill logan yeah. lives his life like that yes don't worry about what nobody else thinks man. Mm-hmm. goose lives his life like that can't worry about it man no. quan don't care about being called out his name driving uber he has a, a molesting <laughs> van downstairs i mean i don't i don't know that's, he doesn't care wow. that's why that's why i got the nickname bill block him <laughs> and guess what I'm he done. don't care he block him, him. Don't care. They blocks them. Listen, they cannot, man. But yeah, so that's tough. So I know they're I born could, into that now, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're born into it. Down born into po- that. They will pull down a post, right? If they don't get enough likes. Yeah. Yeah. So my encouraging Lights. words to Porter Jr.'s mom uh, was heartfelt and it was sincere, and that opens the door <laughs> for another conversation when I see her. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I wouldn't like everybody else. Mm-hmm. You weren't being a fanboy. Yeah, that's with not no knowledge. Truth, truth. <laughs> with no knowledge. Truth. So those words she can pass on to her son and say, "Look, I met somebody in the stands that say, you know, j- you know, this is what what you should do." It wasn't all about. And he's your new stepdaddy. I had the same. <laughs> I had the same. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, I might have to go. On that one, so. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, I had the same, but I had the same conversation with my daughter. <laughs> I had the same conversation with my daughter. Yeah. You know, she has a plethora yeah. of friends plethora. on her page. And she's worn and now she's offended because mm. people are sending inappropriate pictures to her DM. Oh boy. Mm. Boy. And I said, look, daughter. Don't look say her name. Daughter. Child, child of mine. Look, child of child mine. Child of mine. <laughs> We child these are mine. do you do you know these dudes? Yeah. No, they're just friends. I, well, oh. I mean, why are you oh, accepting their? She needs yeah. to be a block them. Yes, she do. She needs to be a block them. But but they, but, but they live on what their they don't friends. Lose. friends they yeah. tough, what man. their friends list all is. Wow. Crazy. She has five thousand friends, girl. You don't know five thousand people. <laughs> So if you guys were to give advice, if you guys were to give, oh, before we boy. leave, if you guys were to give advice to my son, oh, as far as the social media goes, he's oh, playing boy. basketball, he's a junior NBA, Look, he's man. he's on Instagram now, Look. he's doing things like that. Look, if you were to give him any advice, what would the advice Look, be? Look, Jamie, um, <laughs> we're, 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 we're on Twitter, and, and Uncle Goose gonna going to talk to you here for a second, man. <laughs> we on Twitter, we see it every day, you know, the the – the hoophype.com and the aau.com over here and this this that and the third we got we our closest friends all are aau coaches all have their own programs right here in las vegas and beyond so we see this every day this is nothing new to us the aau circuit it's nothing new right they're hyped up every single day every day you hearing about a new dude class of 2028 such and such man he like in the seventh grade dog mm-hmm. What 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 are we doing here? In the gym. But this is what I'm this is what I'm gonna tell you. Through all of that, and all of that is fine. You get your name out there, that's cool. But if you don't work, if you don't work at your craft, getting your name on social media means absolutely nothing. It means nothing. Work on your craft. Continue to get better each and every day. Don't worry about your name being on social media because if you're working on your craft, your name going to be on social media regardless. It's, gonna, it's not going to be something that you can help. Your, your, you working on your craft gets your name out there. We didn't know about John Morant. You sure didn't. 
He wasn't huge on the AAU circuit. He sure wasn't. Right? We didn't find out he was even a teammate of, of, of Zion Williamson until they told us. Mm -hmm. We didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. But they were on the same AAU team. Mm -hmm. Same team. With a, I mean, we talking about with the number one player in the country. Yeah. He was on the team with him. And the same things that we know now about John Morant, Zion Williamson knew 10 years ago when they were, when they were small kids. When they were 9, 10 years old, he knew that. So if I could tell you anything, don't worry about what's getting put on social media because it doesn't matter. What, what Rick Ross say? Man, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. No. Oh. <laughs> my thing is. He wasn't with you shooting in the gym, bro. My, my thing is to tell you to always work and stay humble. That's it, man. Because the humility mm -hmm. will take you farther yeah. than all that braggadocious Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Braggadocious. <laughs> Seriously. Yep. If you stay humble and, and, and you putting in the work. Oh man! Doesn't even matter. None Don't of the matter. other stuff even matters, bro. No matter what anybody says on there about you, because mm. look, look now, Michael Jordan was everybody's beloved, mm. and now he's getting so much slander oh, on social media. Yeah. And Michael Jordan, and, and, and Michael Jordan you, still got a flip phone, and and, and, and he can, can care you, less. Yeah, and, and he's and, still and, 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 and for about. us, and, and for us who've 40. seen his career, he's forty right now. There's no slander on that man's game. No, it ain't. None. You can't slander his name, man. And you got no, people no talking bad about him that never watched him play. Right. Right. Never. Right. Never watched a dribble that he took. Right. right. No smut. But do you think he cares? None. He don't no. care. No. He don't care. The greatest basketball player that ever yeah. lived. He doesn't care, yeah. bro. We'll but Kawhi Leonard yeah. is the best. That, that, <laughs> look, look. He's getting slander. From cats who's wearing his shoes. Come on, that part. man. That part. That part. He could play in the NBA today. Yes, he could. Yeah, he could. You know, I. Wow. You know, it, wow. F young, young people 52, out there, 52, parents 52. out there, coaches out there, we have to do better with teaching oh. our youth. Mm. Please. Uh, that's mm. where Goose, Goose and I are going to be uh, hopefully integrated into this junior NBA with yes, this sir. broadcasting yes, because sir. we want to teach the kids. Yep. How to ask questions, yep. how to answer questions, how to, articulate. how to articulate your words on the mic in yep. front of a camera, because I don't think that's being taught nope. enough. It can't be. It can't we be. We have to teach these type of skills to people, man. Yep. You know what I mean? So yep. someone, someone taught me, and so I'm going to teach someone else. Absolutely. Yep. So, yep. yeah, Michael Porter Jr., even though he's hurt, hurt again, Denver fans, don't, don't hold your breath waiting on that young man's uh, uh, development. Yeah. Build what you have now, yeah. and, and, and then when he comes back he comes and back. he's healthy, <laughs> he'll be an added bonus. Yeah, that's it. Simple and plain. With Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, let the ball bounce sports talk radio, man. Unbelievable today, bro. It's a great show, man. I told y'all last night that you didn't want to miss this show. <laughs> I told y'all last night when I posted y'all didn't want to yeah. miss this show. So if you missed it, we gon we just gonna repost. And it we about. love y'all because we accepted your phone calls today. <laughs> a yeah. lot of phone calls. We yeah. missed a couple. Probably missed a few. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I appreciate so. y'all. Man, yeah. come on, oh, Will yeah. good, man. This was good stuff. How, yeah. how hey, the real HU's I'm finest. Call, I'm at the call. I'm at the call in. From you the got East to Coast, from the East Coast. You got okay. to. Well, you look, man. If, 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 if we get a phone happy. call from Young Raspy from the East Coast, <laughs> hey yo, Young Jada. You know what Young I'm saying? We out, we out here. <laughs> That's it, man. We Look, man, it, man, we love y'all, man. Let the ball bro. bounce. Follow uh, Let the Ball Bounce on Twitter, man. That's with one, one T. T. Let the ball bounce at gmail.com and let the ball bounce on Facebook, man. We got the hottest sports talk page on Facebook. I don't care what you heard. Yeah. I don't care what you heard. Yeah. We got the dopest show, man. We appreciate everybody chiming in every every Saturday at 2 p.m. every Tuesday. At 6 p.m., man, a lot more news to uh, 
to give you. Caruso signed a uh, a two year, two year five, 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 two year five, five point two year uh, five three. Great backup. With the I love it. Excellent backup he for the, the dirt starter. cheap. Yeah, and he's a dog. And he's a dog. Caruso's a dog. Because he don't care. He doesn't. So you got three dogs. He looks like he's forty five and he does not care. I bet you he doesn't. Texas A and M alum. He doesn't tweet. The boy got hops too. He doesn't care about Twitter. And he boy he can jump through the gym. Lord have mercy. Smack at you. Ooh. Hey. Laker fans, see, L.A. Man. Clipper fans. Come on, Melo. The rivalry see, starts see, I told you, now. I need, I need Melo. See, see what I told you? Microwave. See what I told you? Uh, 11, uh, 11, uh, 11, uh, 11 look, points. Look, I need it. Look, and it's crazy. Will didn't even hear me say this last week. I Mello, broke down. I need Melo. And finally said, you know what? Melo can add to Mello. Bring, bring Mello. Mello. Yeah, bring Melo. Yeah. I broke down last week. And might said as that. well at this point. Yeah. Might, might as well. Might as well. At yeah. this point? At yeah. this point? For sure. Low, for low Two chance. years, six million. This. Bring him. No, he's a vet. He's going to give vet minimum. Yeah, that's He'll okay. give vet minimum. Bring, come, bring him. He'll please. Give Caruso making more than Carmelo? Hey, man. That's all I need. Ouch. Melo done made his money. He done made $250 million in his yeah, career. Yeah, but he's going to he's gonna be losing a lot of that after what he did on that young boat. We're we'll talking about that here. Tuesday. Oh, my God. I'm done. No, what were you thinking, no, Mom? Hey, what? what? Stop what were you, you thinking? You thinking my Howard Mello. alum. Don't do my Howard alum like what that. What were you <laughs> thinking, dog? Right. Uh, what were you thinking? La, la, man. Come on, man. You had just got out of the dog. House, now you back in it hey, for, 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 for good. Right in. Oh, Tommy, for good. She <laughs> may Tommy actually really in. do the sex the scene this Tommy time. Don't slip in. <laughs> Look, let the ball bounce. Sports Talk Radio, uh, man. Your guy, Dre Bailey, man, Goose Thomas, Bill Blockham, Logan, yeah. special guest, Will in the building, man. Yes, Quan indeed, Five man. Nine, man. Wow. Gorilla Cross on wow. your on your app, man. Yes, and sir. if you're scared, you better go to church. Lakers back to back to close it out. <laughs> <laughs>